Welcome! I am Resplendent Seraph. Today we're going to be playing a little Ys uh, and Welcome Raiders. Uh, that, uh, that timing worked out very nicely, all things considered. I, <laughs> it was funny. I was originally going to start at 6, but I, uh, I was doing some pre-setup for my stream tonight. Uh, and I was looking at this window, and once again, just the sheer amount of light coming through it was, was pretty bonkers. So I was uh, measuring uh, the light in, uh, in all, uh, or the uh, width and the height and all that. And uh, I'm probably going to end up ordering a blinds replacement for this so I can actually not worry too much about my lighting setup. And then I can really fine tune the lighting settings because obviously the lighting, depending on if I start a stream in two in the afternoon with the window behind me, sometimes can be blazingly bright, especially at like four or five in the afternoon, as opposed to, you know, eight or nine at night when it's totally nighttime and everything else. But yes, welcome everyone. I hope everybody's having a great weekend and a great Sunday so far. Without any real to do uh, or hold up here, let's cruise over and get things set up here for our wonderful little East Memories of Celsetta gaming session we're going to have ourselves tonight. Last time, as I set up here, let's actually, let's go to the end game. Let's go to the end game. Let's get uh, that started. Perfect. Yes, play East Memories of Celsetta. You're still going to run the configuration tool, even though I tell you not to every single time, but that's okay. That's not the end of the world. Yes, save and launch. And I didn't get a chance to really test out the controller, so hopefully I have switched the controller buttons. Okay, and if not, I'll just do that live as we go. Oh, let's get that cursor out of the way. But yes, last time when we played this, we had uh, we had scaled the Tower of Providence and reached Lord Eldiel, at which point he basically looked evil as hell. Looked like he was almost about to attack us, but didn't. Kind of came to his senses. We left thinking, well, that was weird. We wanted to get Lisa. And we ended up looking for Lisa. She wasn't in the village. The village ended up getting attacked by soldiers from Rom. As uh, the one commander, and his name is escaping me now, but the blatantly evil commander, turns out, <laughs> shocker, was evil. And has been, uh, has his own agenda with things going on. So yeah, he's trying to find... <laughs> exactly right, Darkstar? And, uh, you know, shocker, totally unexpected. And so uh, he's, it looks like he's in cahoots with the one sorceress and the Beastmaster. So let's get things loaded here. Good. And I did indeed get my controller set up. One of these days, I really should get the Gula Kit um, kit to actually swap the buttons so I don't have to do this every time. It's only like 10 bucks. And I only do use it for... Um, whoops, I didn't want to go this way. We already went that way. We're about to go into a completely new area here. And let's see. Seraph, what am I doing? How does this game work again? Let's so get the microphone a little bit closer to me here. There we go. Now I don't have to careen my neck or any kind of awkward angles. Let's see here. Items. Uh, items, that's what I'm looking for. So we've got an Aeolus urn. We've got the Gale Shoes. Yeah, the Gale Shoes is good to keep equipped. But we could always switch to the Spirit Cape when we need to gain some HP. Let's actually take a look at the journal. Because we may... Records... Oh, look at that. Map completion. Ooh, we've hit 60% map completion. I think we did already turn in the 60% completion, though. So that's good. Uh, we don't need manual. I'm just curious to see if they've got a PC or NPC deal, but of course they don't. Wayward Guardians purchasing silver. We still have to do that. Looks like we've done just about everything except for the silver one. I'm sure there are things we've missed, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a... Memories. Yep, we could just go through here, these, and they would replay the, um, the memories we've uncovered. We've got 55% memories? Wow, that means we're we're still dealing with a lot of memories out there. I gotta believe we're more than 55% of the way through this game. That's a little bit of a surprise. All right. But anyway, we're looking for Lord Eldiel, and we're also looking, and this is a uh, camping spot. We're gonna get a memory back here anyway. 
Well, we're looking for Eldiel and Lisa here, and we're trying to beat the other evil uh, commander from Rom uh, to her, uh, to them. Okay, I was thirstier than I thought. Enveloped in the clear air of the forest and the fragrance of the spirit tree, Adol felt his body drift into a deep, relaxing slumber. One of the memories sealed in the back of Adol's mind was restored. Oh, is this where we're about to lose our memories? Yeah, probably. Because they did find uh, his equipment at the end of his stream. Adol appeared to be out of stamina and couldn't run any further. Ha ha ha, giving up already? Okay, that's a little bit of a surprise. Hmm. I would have expected the Beast Tamer, actually, but... Huh, what did he honestly hope to achieve by giving it to a mere human? Such a pitiful attempt. Now behold, as I, the true god, finally gain the ultimate power. <laughs> yeah, except you didn't get your precious Mask of the Sun back, dipshit. How many times must you get in my way before you concede defeat? <laughs> yeah, right? What a douchebag. Are you okay, Adol? You were moaning in your sleep. I had a dream about Eldiel. Hello, cat! Hi, kitty kitty, who's a good girl. Hello, Cleo. My feline co-host has decided to join us. She must have heard me talking to myself here. Hello, cat. Oh, who's a good cat? Yeah, I know who's a good kitty kitty. I think I know why she was such an asshole yesterday. Uh, but I'll read through this text to, before I get to that. Uh, I had an inkling that it may have been Eldiel who attacked you in this area. Though it does beg the question, why did he not finish you off? Maybe it was the same kind of situation as when we met him in the tower. It doesn't seem like his other personality has fully woken yet, just yet. So he probably snapped out of it or something. Yeah, but how long is he going to be able to fight turning into that other person? For good. That's what I'm worried about. We definitely need to hurry. Come on, let's find that village. Oh, we're also looking for a village of other, um, essentially descendants from the kingdom of Salsetta. Memory fragments in the surrounding area are now visible on the map. Let's go find them. We got all the memory fragments over here. We still need to get that treasure chest, although I don't know how to get it. We're pro we probably need an artifact of some sort to get to those other ones, but we did look and we tried. So, ooh, what's a red one? The red candy-like one. For anybody who's seen Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> All right, well, uh, there doesn't seem to be any particular way for me to tell which one I should go for, so let's just pick the north one. Ashen Forest, huh? I'm guessing... Okay, that's a little loud for me. Let's tone that down a little bit. Volume on the stream looks fine. I think it was just my local volume that was a little loud. Yeah, I didn't need Karna screaming in my ear there. <laughs> uh, did I get everything over here? Yeah, I did. Oh, oh, that doesn't look good, does it? I'm guessing I can't get out of that. Hmm. Okay, then. Fine. I guess we're going the other way. Unless there's something I'm missing, but I don't see it. Well, you know what? Let's... Leave it to me. Nothing for you to do. Leave it to me. I don't see anything activating. Let's go to the party. Let's just switch out Karna for Ozma, and we'll switch out Durin for Kalilika. Leave it to me! It's my turn. Is there anything you can do? I don't see anything you Leave can do. Leave it to me. Nothing you can do. Leave it to me! Yeah, okay, fine. Fair enough. Guess we'll go the other way instead. It's my turn. Understood. Leave it to me! Okay, this is the flash guard, right? Oh. 
show music. Let's get that stuff. Why not? Get more map completion. Okay, subterranean forest. We've gone from one forest to another. There we go. It's very brief. And okay, that's just decoration. Doesn't look good, but fuck it. Ow. Oh, cool. Oh, I like that. Let's swap that out. I think we'll do. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Fuck yeah. That'll be good for when I'm surrounded. Cause you know, that never happens. What's up, cat? Okay, see you later, kitty. <laughs> I guess she got bored. Oh, so uh, yesterday what I think was going on was uh, I had fed her a little early and uh, she decided she didn't want to have any of it. And so um, what I think happened is she just forgot that I had fed her and she was asking for her wet food dinner again, even though I had already fed her. I think that's why she was being such a brat. So today I did not make that same mistake. I made her wait and fed her just before stream. Oh, that's a sneeze. Okay. Neurons reset. <laughs> Handling everything okay. Even though Adol doesn't do a very good job on these things, but the other two do, see, do uh, seem to have a good effect. Yeah, let's go over here. And I'm still setting them on fire, which is helpful. Yeah, when it comes to those, mostly I just make sure, I mean, I could switch parties, uh, party members, but it's sometimes just easier for me to make sure that they can't escape. Of course, the problem is once this memory is over, those enemies are just going to respawn. Case in point with my window. That blind is closed. The blind is closed and it's still that bright. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, did Dr. F... Uh, ah, there we go. There he is. <laughs> Large blue-haired man. Our first memory of this dude. Adol's best friend here. Oh, did Dr. Flair fall asleep already? 
Not surprised. We've barely rested since we left pa uh, Promalok. Still can't believe he came all this way to the wa uh, find wild succeded flowers. He's one tough guy to go through all this trouble at his age. Just to look for some medicinal herbs. Now remember, Dr. Flair is who we met in East Book 2 at uh, Ramia Village. And then we have you, Sutton, exploring the Great Forest just because you're curious about it. You really aren't scared of anything, are you? Guess I wouldn't have it any other way, though. If it weren't for you, that cursed island would still be cursed. There's never a dull moment with you around. Well, as long as I get to go on some exciting adventures, that's just fine by me. Okay, we gotta get something good from this one. Yeah, we know these assholes would show back up. There we are. Marvelous. That's badass. We finally get a memory of Dogi. Now, which one was that? Was that? No, it wasn't even the red one. See, I think I figured that would have been one of the red memories. That's such a big deal. Although, I guess if this is your first memory, like, if this is your first East game. God, if this is your first East game. Oh, well, shit. What's going on here? Oh, we got a structure out there. That's good. Now we can warp back here. Oh, we got another tower. Huh. Is that? Oh, we may have found the village already. We may put a pin in this and go find some of those other memories. So this is the village of the wise. Looks almost magical from afar. I never would have expected to find a human settlement in a dark place like this. I'd heard about this village's existence in Highland, but I never thought I'd have the chance to actually see it for myself. So this is your first time here too, right, Adol? Well, I can't say for sure. <laughs> Probably. What kind of wishy-washy answer is that? Are you looking to get kicked in the shins? It's the Sanctuary of Storm. If the Sanctuary of Storms were still active, we couldn't be here right now. There's no way you could have been here before. Oh, oh, Kalilika, never understate Adol's ability to get somewhere he shouldn't be. Why so quiet, Durin? You're always first to make some comment about what's going on. You're Adol's voice. The silent treatment is kind of creepy coming from you. It's nothing. Let's get going. Oh, look at that. Located the village, the underground village of Danan. All right. So yeah, we located the village, but let's head back out. I kind of want to see what these other memories are about. Before getting too into things here. Although... Yeah, we still have that area to go, and that might actually only be it. Yeah, let's just get through these assholes. Yeah, whatever. Okay, here's the Ashen Forest again. Although, well... I might not be able to get far in here. That looks like frickin' poison, doesn't it? Yep. Alright, so whatever this is, I'm not going to be able to get past this, am I? Yep. Nope, I cannot. Okay, fair enough. To the village we go! Look at that. Well, that didn't take Seraph long. <laughs> let's go explore! Alright, let's not! I mean, it seemed like a good idea at the time. save while I'm at it. Ugh. Let's find out what this village is all about. This really is a strange place. It's in the primordial lands, just like Highland, but the two places couldn't be more different. Someone's coming. I'm gonna guess she's gonna recognize that all. Uh, hello. Are you nervous? <laughs> How adorable. My name is Frida. I'm a warrior of this village who retells stories of the ancient past. Welcome, Adol. I know you've had a long journey. 
Now the question is, does she know us because we've been here, or does she know us because our reputation has preceded us? Have I met you before? <laughs> Maybe you have. What do you think? A lady needs to have a sense of mystery about her, doesn't she? Hmm. I was expecting a tough warrior or something, not a kid. Is he really up to the job? He doesn't look very strong. Hmm? That wasn't me. Where are you looking? I'm here! Here! Uh, how rude! Erm... <laughs> I'm Nina, an alchemically created fairy. I'm Frida's partner, and the village messenger. Created? As in, someone actually made you here? And you're a fairy, no less. I always thought fairies were just, well, fairy tales. Incredible. Surprised? I bet you are. Any more questions? I'm in such a good mood today, I'll tell you anything you want to know. So what's it going to be? Freda's height? Her measurements? Her ex's name? I can give you hints, or just say them all. It's what? fucked up. Hey, wait a minute, Nina. <laughs> so clearly this fairy's a little mischievous. I swear, she's always like this. Um... Anyway, I, uh, wait, uh, where were we? And everybody's fucking embarrassed. <laughs> you were about to tell us how you know Adol's name. <clears throat> right, I guess I was. But I think there's someone else here who would be better suited to answer that question. Right? Don't you agree, Durin? Wait. If I explain everything in detail, we'll be here for hours. But in short, Durin here has been telling me all about you. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? This is where he's from, you see. <laughs> Why? Fortunately, we saw him messaging somebody before, so we knew something was up. It feels like such a long time since I last saw you, Durin. <laughs> Tell me, what's with that hairstyle? You don't actually think it suits you, do you? <laughs> it's dreadful. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Shut up, you two. It's hardly a time to be talking about my hair. Adol, and everyone else, too. I'm sorry for keeping so many secrets from all of you. Why didn't you tell us before? I'm... Really, I'm sorry. What? Pretty low, Durin. Oh. Better have a good explanation for all of this. And don't give me any of that. You'll understand when you're older. Crap. I'll bite you so hard. <laughs> Oh my god, you have your reasons, I trust. Of course. This is a village where the descendants of those who committed an unforgivable sin in the past, the distant past, live in secret. And everything that we have done relates to that incident. An unforgivable sin? What do you mean? The Elder is going to explain all of that to you very soon. We'll take you to its residence now, and show you around the village along the way. Yeah, no more secrets. We'll tell you everything there. Well, I'm intrigued. Come on, Adol. The Elder's house is the one in front of the central tower. Is there anywhere else you want to spy up before we get there? Just say the word. Like Frida's house? <laughs> Come now, there's nothing to see there. <laughs> now, Adol, shall we be off? Well, we are going to look for some shops. So I do need silver. This is the first time since Kaznan that we've seen a proper town. Mom and Dad had to go a long way to work. Isn't that neat? So you're Adol. Your hair really is a brilliant shade of red, as I'd heard. My name's Ren. It's a pleasure to meet you. I live here with my younger brother. You're welcome to come visit anytime you like. Okay, you're not a shop. Thought you'd be a shop. I was wrong. We're ready. I've never seen anyone with red hair before. Let's see, don't want any trouble. <laughs> Durin, you're back. I see you brought some visitors with you. Have you come to buy something? Nah, we're just showing them around at the moment. We'll come again soon, though, I'm sure. Alright, let me know anytime. Weapons, armor, items. If you need it, we'll probably sell it. No, Durin, I want to buy! Ugh, fine. I guess we could explore a little bit, but I, they're not going to let us buy anything. That's super lame. Well, if it isn't Durin. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. Is this some kind of research facility? 
You could say that, yes. Our specialty is synthesizing elixirs and medicinal items. If you've got the money and the ingredients, we can make just about anything you can imagine. So what is it you want? A love potion? Something to make you invisible for nefarious purposes? Go on, name your wish. I think we're good for now. Come on, there's no shame in being honest. Humans are all beasts deep down. Right, Blondie? Why are you asking me? I think we're done here. Yeah, we should probably be leaving now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome to Den, travelers. And Durin and Frida, thank you all for your hard work. Even if you won't be here for long, I hope you'll enjoy your time with us. Of course, this leads a long way around. What's going on over here? Wait, this house is... Well, if it isn't Little Durin, I think I'm a bit too... To, I'm a bit too old to be called little anymore. Who's this? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna bet this is his mom. My mother? Oh, come now, Duran. Is the idea really so horrific? I'm afraid your guess is incorrect, however. I'm actually Frida's mother. I'm actually Frida's mother. Okay. I see. Now that you mention it, I kind of see the resemblance. You and Duran certainly seem to get on well. Well, Duran and Frida have been friends since they were practically in diapers. They've never managed to move past that, though. You'd think they would have gone beyond friends a long time ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shipper on deck here. You're still so young, Frida. How long are you going to keep dwelling on the... P Mother! <laughs> what? What's wrong? I wonder what that was all about. I don't know, but suddenly it's gotten pretty awkward in here. Never mind that. Do feel free to make yourselves at home. With all you youngsters around, I feel more energetic than ever. I don't think there's anything else going on here, but real quick. Now yeah, there's one other building out down that way. Let's just run to it. Oops. Let's just do that while the ad's playing. I don't think there's anything particularly interesting going on here, but tell it a glance, huh? Good old Dante. Well, I am a warrior after all. So Frida's refined her skills while she's been while he's been gone. I wonder who'd win in a fight. I'm sure Durin would win. I'm hurt, at all. How will we take this outside and find out for sure? <laughs> I think I'll pass. Besides, I couldn't seriously fight a woman. Oh, you couldn't? How boring. I'm not used to getting guests here. Looks like you know ran around a sword. You may already be aware, but the things you learn when pursuing martial arts can be applied to all walks of life. Never forget to train. Very true. Let's see what's going on over here. I'm guessing this is going to be Durin's house. <laughs> what a wuss. <laughs> Hello, is anyone home? Doesn't look like it. Seems as if no one has lived here for quite a while. Yeah, this house hasn't been used in a long time. Whose house is it? It belonged to someone Durin and I knew many years ago. As you can see, it's empty now. Hmm. Anything to discover here? Definitely a sage of some sort, but there is nothing here. All right. Well, so we've gotten a lot of hints about things that are going on. Let's head up. Uh, give it a flower? Let's give it a mower flower. Perfect. I think that's just a way to waste items, but, you know, you never know. Alright, so obviously I'm supposed to go up this way. Just for the shits and giggles of it. Oh, they're not going to let me go this way. Where does this path go? It leads to a small shrine. It was made to seal away something pretty important. Though the thing it was made to seal away has been lost now, so it's just a shrine. I'm guessing the Mask of the Sun was going to be down there. If you're going to talk about throwing hands, throw them hands. <laughs> right? I do want to see Frida and Durin duke it out, though. That'd be fun. Regardless, I'm sorry, but the Elder's permission is needed to go any further this way. Let's return to the village, Adol. Yeah. Up this way we go. We've done enough dilly-dallying. But it's an RPG. We gotta be thorough. 
Love the artificial light keeping them uh, functional or keeping them. Oh, and there's going to be a quest board. Lovely. Ah, yes. The Library of Solaris, if Nate is still listening. <laughs> Whoa, what is this place? It looks an awful lot like Oral Lord Eldiel's room, but there seems to be an even bigger collection of books here. Surprised? We call this building the Black Archives. Well, that's ominous as shit. The Black Archives? Yeah, this place is like a collection of all of Danan's history and knowledge. Do you gather information about the outside world here as well? We do. I'll leave it to the Elder to explain in more detail, however. The Black Archives and its contents are closely linked to our purpose in this village. You know, this has been bothering me since I got here. I have to know, how did you get from here to Kaznan? There we go. Now that you mention it, you must have crossed the Sanctuary of Storms, right? Oh, uh, that, uh... He used the seams. The fuck is that? Wait a minute, Frida. We can't just... Seams? I want to know more, too. I demand an explanation as payment for your despicable acts of deceit, Durin. <laughs> With a giant mechanism like the one in the Sanctuary of Storms, there are bound to be a few gaps in the field, so to speak. We call them seams. In the Sanctuary of Storms, they're places where the lightning strikes happen with less frequency. I've got them memorized and traveled in and out of the primordial lands by exploiting them. Dude, you couldn't have told us that when we were getting fried by lightning every five fucking seconds, bro? <laughs> God damn it. We use the same basic principle to avoid losing our memories when we leave the area around Highland. That's interesting. I do understand the concept, but is such a thing really possible? Particularly considering how powerful Eldiel is. To an extent, yes, but there's a little more to it as well. Magic, I'm guessing? Magic, that's the power you wield, Kalilika, isn't it? Kind of. I use weapons and items that were charged with magic, but I can't use magic by myself. To use magic, you have to be able to control its energy on your own. Some of the know-how for doing that has been passed down here in Danan. The, method, the methods that are passed down here are the same as those used in the ancient kingdom of Salceta. I see. Although Durin doesn't use it very often. Well, I'm not very good with it, and I don't really want to rely on the same power he did either. Hold on, why are we even talking about this? <laughs> You're always so much fun to rile up. <laughs> Glorious purpose! <laughs> He really is. And he's so stupid, he falls for it every time. <laughs> uh, it's the same power he did. Who is he? Okay. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, you're a visitor? Welcome to the Black Archives. Does this place seem unusual to you? Feel free to look around. Of course, it's not going to give us quests yet. If I want to become a great magician, I'm going to need a great amount of knowledge. I always spend my days reading, and today isn't going to be any different. Okay, well, we got dual stairs here. Oh, there was a dude up there. We've gone too far. We'll talk to him on the way back down. The fuck? We here in Danan are well versed in history, and devote ourselves to observing its course. I'm afraid I can't say any more than that, however. Just trust that this is a place where many things are seen, stored, and arranged. Please don't be too noisy in here. We don't care for noise. Yeah, it's one gigantic library. I could... Oh, fuck. Did I... God damn it. I was supposed to talk to the dude down there. I am supposed to come this way, right? So you're the adult we've been hearing about. You have such courageous eyes, but I can't hold you up here. You should go and see the Elder first and foremost. Fuck. Did I go the wrong... I thought I was supposed to go to this building. I didn't miss anything, right? And she's here. Hey. I must have gone the wrong place. She did say where to go. 
I did go in Adam. here, right? Oh. Nope, I did not go in there. I thought I went in there. This is where the village elder, Vanjo, lives. He tends to ramble and it's kind of difficult to get along with. So you might want to brace yourselves. I'm going to tell him you said that. Huh. Either way, if there's anywhere else you want to see, I suggest we go see it before I dig inside. What will it be? Indecision is not becoming a man, you know. We've seen everything. All right, then. Let's go play, pay Vanjo a visit. Especially since you won't let me buy anything first. All right, let's see what this dude's deal is. I've brought them with me, Elder. Ah, so they're finally here. It's nice to meet you. Oh, spare me the self-introductions. I know all about you already, so you'll just be wasting your time. <laughs> okay. You want to know who, we're, who we are? Am I right? Yeah, well, we're a tribe of people who have turned their backs on the gods and destroyed an entire ancient civilization. Not the intro I was expecting, but, you know, uh, plus ten for the honesty there, bro. I'm Vanjo. Vanjo Kazoo. <laughs> I don't really understand. It happened a long time ago, far overseas. Our ancestors stole a mighty power from the gods and sank their land to the bottom of the ocean. But one of those gods, a certain Lord Eldiel, as it were, forgave their sins and secretly brought them here till Salsetta. Does that mean your ancestors lived in the kingdom of Salsetta? The kingdom was full of good, honest people, including their benevolent king. It was far too nice a place for a tribe of sinners like us. So our ancestors settled here, underground, repenting for their sins and silently watching over the kingdom. But then something terrible happened. Something terrible? This is a story every man, woman, and child in this village knows by heart. Long ago, a winged sage came to Salsetta. He gave the people wisdom and civilization, and in return, they revered him as a god. But one day, that god began to act with cruelty and malice, as if he'd become a different being altogether. Well, this is sounding familiar. Steadily, those acts of aggression grew until one day he came to destroy the kingdom with his power. Was... No, couldn't have been. Lord Eldiel, could it? Sound familiar at all? I believe you've witnessed something quite similar yourself. A certain winged acquaintance of yours suddenly behaving quite unlike himself and attacking without warning. No, that's not possible. I don't know the cause of this transformation, but the changes in Lord Eldiel's behavior now reflect a similar pattern to his past in destroying the kingdom of Salsetta. So we decided to keep an eye on him and on those who visited his tower as well. We thought that maybe we could be of some service to him if the situation called for it. Then Adol was called to the tower, and well, down he went. I see. So you were the one assigned to watch over Adol then? Yeah. Listen, Adol, I'm sorry for not telling you. It was just a lot on the line, and it was also... If I gained your trust, I could be at your side. I thought it'd be easier. It's hard to blame him now that we've heard all that. Yeah, it's kind of a shame, really. Hey! Well, he was only doing what I ordered him to, so don't be too hard on him now. Having you around was a big help. It's been a big help having you around, Durin. Your behavior has been suspicious on occasion, but now that we know the truth behind your actions, I feel I speak for all of us. Uh, I think I, I feel I speak for us all when I say we are grateful to have you. I think we can forgive you this time. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. At all, we here in Denon share the same objective as you, to pursue Lord Eldiel. And to that end, there's something I need to show you. Would you come outside for a moment? Don't worry. You'll understand when you see it. This way, Adol. Ah, I'm guessing that's our infamous Mask of the Sun. This place is so beautiful. It's the only part of the village where sunlight can get through, huh? It's the most sacred place in the entirety of the subterranean forest. That fucking thing is what all this bullshit is here for, is going on down for. The sun here is far too bright for the likes of us. Perfect for sealing away a certain powerful object, if I must say. 
See for yourselves in that shrine. But don't get too close now. There's a real strong barrier keeping it safe. Is that? No. It couldn't be. It's a mask. Yep. That there is the mask of the sun. What? What's it doing here? I had it removed from Adol's grave. Ah, so it was there in Adol's grave. <laughs> when the hell did you manage that? You were unaware of this? Yeah. <sighs> Why is this village full of such terrible people? <laughs> Come now. That's not very fair of you, Durin. If it had been left there, it may have been fallen it may have fallen into the hands of someone who really shouldn't have it. Yeah, like that sorceress or the beast tamer, so they were smart to bring it here. And you were so busy saving Adol after he fell into that waterfall, you certainly couldn't have claimed it. You should be grateful Frida was watching out for you. Ah. Wait, you were there? I'd been keeping an eye on you since before you fell in. Lord Eldia was still unstable, groaning in agony like when we last met him in the tower. So I seized the chance to rescue you and somehow carried you all the way back to Kaznan. Still not sure how I pulled it off. I played my part as a messenger too. We all helped in our own way. So that's what happened. That explains how Adol was able to get back. However, if Gruda and his allies are seeking the mask, they may be in the area. Is it safe to leave the mask so exposed? Ha, huh, no need to worry. Oh, whenever some fucking dipshit NPC says no need to worry, that's when you should fucking worry. That shrine's guarded by a powerful force field. I'd take, it'd take one hell of a blast to break through that. Well, you shouldn't be underestimating our enemies here. This may seem like an obvious question, but what exactly is the mask? The replicas Gruda's men produced were used to strengthen the physical prowess of the Roman soldiers. Didn't, real, <laughs> didn't realize we arrived in Jerktown. <laughs> and the masks used in my village did the same thing. It's just a side effect. The Mask of the Sun really allows its wearer to read the Akashic Records, where the world's blueprints are recorded. Holy shit. The Akashic Records? I've never heard of such a thing before. What do you mean by world's blueprints? Just what it sounds like. The world's structure, its properties, its origins. Everything that ever happened in the past. Every, <laughs> Even every damn thing that'll ever happen in the future. All collected in one book. What? Child of Highland. Think for a moment of Lord Eldeal's actions and you'll have your answer. His actions? You mean giving people knowledge? <gasps> Reading the blueprints of the world, using their contents to ration out knowledge and maintain global balance. It's the Mask of the Sun and the Akashic Records that make all that possible. So Gruda's real objective is the world's blueprints and the key to reading them. Where are these Akashic Records located? In the former capital of the Kingdom of Salceta deeper still within the forest. Yeah, and that's where Groot is headed, no doubt. It's gotta be. He seemed to be mass-producing copies of the mask. Do you think he plans to use those to read the records? <sighs> He's a talented magician, but no mere copy can even come close to approximating the works of the gods. It is possible, I bet, that in the process of duplicating the mask, he could have learned its true purpose. It's because of us that he and the Romans came to this land. What are you... Elder... What's the meaning of this? We're busy here, you know. Well, a girl showed up, demanding we give her the mask. Yep. Girl. Don't tell me that sorceress. So this is where you all went. Oh, Lisa. Is that... Lisa? Why are you... So you're the apostle girl, huh? Surprised you found this place. Where have you been? I'm sorry for worrying you at all. However, I'm afraid there's no time to explain myself right now. You seem to be in quite the hurry. Why exactly can't you take a moment to explain yourself again? You can't honestly expect us to hand you the mask on faith alone, little lady. I could save Lord Eldiel. Lisa, guess you're not here under orders as an apostle then. How about you at least tell us why you need the mask? At least then... I'm sorry. What's going on? Above us! <sighs> the White Galvalin? Oh, I already don't like this thing. What is that thing? It's huge! That's what she said. 
It's it's Lisa's. I apologize for being forced to take such an aggressive approach. I simply don't have time so to do this any other way. What? It can't be. We need to subdue it, Durin. Just don't hurt Lisa in the process. Don't let us down. I know. We can't have her break the barrier and take the mask at all. Sorry to ask, but will you lend us a hand? Of course. Thanks. Sorry to get you caught up in all this. Yeah, I'm guessing we're not going to be able to truly stop this, but... Okay, we can access the man menu, change party members, use the party member. Okay. Fair enough, but you didn't let me buy new shit, which sucks, but whatever. No, you don't have any good shit. Let's see. I'm not going to worry too much about these. Give you the life ring. Sure. Let's allow you to do a little extra damage. That works for me. I don't think we could swap out party members. Oh, we can keep party members in. You know what? Let's let's keep this. I like this plan. Let's do it. Okay, that looks good. Oh. Probably should be filling these. Oops there. Okay. Of course you don't let me save. That's bullshit. Alright, let's do this. Uh yeah, I mean I don't really see any obvious mistakes I'm making. Right? No, I guess I don't need XP here. I don't know if it's going to impact me with anything. So... But just the same. Let's prevent paralysis, just in case it could do that. Because paralysis is particularly annoying. Excuse me. Ow. Ow. Holy shit. Okay. This. Okay, that was one way to avoid that. Please get out of my way. Fuck. Jesus. Still got nailed by I thought if I were still Damn. Man. This is crazy. It attacks so fucking often. Damn. Okay. Damn, I gotta do another one of those? You gotta be kidding me here. Jesus. Please get out of my way. Is that doing damage to me when it blasts me out? I'm so sorry. Ah! This is so annoying. Oh my god. Wow, we're doing terribly on here. Damn it. Please get out of the way. You know what? I'm gonna let it kill me and just see if I'm supposed to die. Leave it to me. Please stay out of my way. Cause we're getting our asses kicked completely. Alright. Someone please heal me. 
Yeah, shut up. I just want to see if I'm supposed to die here. Oh, no, nope, we're supposed to be able to kill it. Okay, that sucks. So sorry. Here I go. Damn. So sorry. Wow. That doesn't do damage to you, it just knocks you out. Damn. this boss battle already. I'll make you move. Damn it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Fuck. That was so stupid. Die anyway. Excuse me. I don't really want to waste that super healing item, man. Yeah, it doesn't let me quit. Yeah, I'd rather just, I'd rather die and get my item back. I mean, if I happen to kill it, great, but I'd rather have my item back. Please stay out of my way. I'll make you move. There it is. Let's try so that again, sorry. this time without dying. The key is going to be Fash Block. Yeah, that's clearly the key, because you allow that Flash move. Damn it. And also not to be in the path of that. Stay out of my way. Mm. So sorry. Uh, go. Please stay out of my way. Excuse me. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. At all. Totally missed it. I'll make you move. And there are three more. Ah. Seraph, you dumb shit. No, don't jump that way. Oh. I thought he was going to do the other thing. Damn it. You asshole. Come on, got him. I knew if I could just get him down that far, I could use my special to finish him off. Oof. Still ended up having to use some of my healing potions, but I didn't have to use that super rare one I had. Did we succeed? That was a hell of a battle. No! I knew it. Conventional weapons aren't going to work against this thing. What? So it is a Galvalin then. I'm sorry, everyone. Saul, do it! So we fought that... 
just for them to take this, the mask anyway. No. Thank goodness. Now I could finally save Lord Eldia. No, you're risking everything, Lisa. You're being a fucking moron. Well done, little apostle. To the surprise of no one. Lisa, you fucking idiot. Frida, he's here. <laughs> Finally, the mask of the sun is mine. It can't be. You dipshit, Lisa. Uh, don't think too poorly of me, little apostle. I kept my word. I told you where the mask was, but I never once promised I'd let you have it. You only have your own naivete to blame for this. I should have known. You always did enjoy making a grand entrance, Gruta. But is this any way to treat your own people? What? Are you saying... Several years ago, one of our own broke the laws of our village and unraveled the secrets our ancestors sealed away. That man fled the village, taking a small group of supporters with him, and gave himself over to the Roman Empire. His name was Gruta, and he was once a magician from Danan. Wait. Stay where you are, Adol Kristen. Goddess, Bami and the Masked Division are occupying the village. You wouldn't want any unfortunate accidents, would you? Holding your own homeland hostage now. You are despicable. You're just as much of a slime as ever. Unfortunately for you, I bear no emotional attachment to this dreary place. Perhaps it is destiny that I should obtain the mask here. In honor of this occasion, we shall hereby refer to ourselves as Darklings. Come now, is that really so surprising? It's a perfectly fitting name for those who've obtained the power of the gods through these unorthodox you means. Are... You really haven't changed at all, have you? What do you mean he hasn't changed? Back when he was still in the village, Gruta researched the power our ancestors stole from the gods. They called themselves that name, and to this day the, world is, the word is considered impure. It's bad luck to think it, much less say it. Blood of the Darklings flows within you as much as it does in me. No matter how far you repress it, it's a part of you, and it always will be. Gruta! Regardless now that I have what I seek, I see nothing more to be gained by remaining here. And though I may have much attachment to this place, I suppose it is still my home, so I'll leave peacefully today. Should you continue your fruitless attempts to stand in my way, however, I won't be quite so merciful next time. Wait! <laughs> it's gone. Lisa. You stupid motherfucker. Kalilika, at all, what have I done? Nice job, Lisa. Well, this has been a hell of a day. No point just standing here, though. Let's go back to my place and sort all this out. So, young apostle, what were you trying to do with the Mask of the Sun? Gruta implied he said something to you about it. Yeah, he told me that last time Lord Eldiel was behaving strangely. The Mask of the Sun was used to calm him, so I... I'm so sorry. That scumbag. Well, what's done is done. I'm more interested to know that you're a descendant of the Selcedon royal family. Are you? How did you... Lisa is? Whoa, that's news to me. That white goblin of yours was the dead giveaway. Legend has it, it was created by King Lafonce to fend off Lord Eldiel after he lost control of himself. So King Lafonce and Lord Eldiel fought each other? That's what they say. Not that there are any surviving records to confirm one way or the other, of course. What we do know for certain is that the goblins were created using a forbidden technology our ancestors sealed away. King Lafonce was a righteous man, so knowing he allegedly resorted to the use of such technology shows his unease. Guess that explains how it was able to destroy the barrier. He... Saul was given to me by my father to carry out the rite of summoning. I was told he'd been passed down in his family for generations, but I had no idea his creation had come under circumstances like that. You wrote on Saul too, Adol. Lisa used him to take you to see Lord Eldiel. Really? 
Yes, Lord Eldiel asked me to escort you to his room personally, and I have to say, it was no small task finding you out in that forest. This is Adol we're talking about. The guy never sits still. He can't even sleep without sneaking out a window first. That is so true. <laughs> the thing I find most difficult to accept is that the man who attacked Highland was from Danan. Yeah, he had me completely fooled. There was no doubt in my mind he was a Ramon commander. Grudu was one of the most intelligent people in the village. He was also a wise man in his day, who loathed the sin our ancestors committed more than anyone else. And that hatred drove him to study the incident in greater detail. But somehow or another, during his studies, he is uh, he became attracted to the power of the gods that they'd attempted to seal. Why would that be? Only he knows the answer to that. We naturally admonished the hell out of him for what he was doing. Just out of nowhere, he gathered a small group of supporters and left the village. And that was the end of that. In addition to keeping an eye on El Lord Eldiel, we've also been trying our best to track him down all this time. Most likely, he managed to gain the support of Rom for his research into the mask. And now he has returned to the forest. So where is he headed next? He must have sussed out the mask's true power by now. Which means there's only one thing he could possibly be after. The Akashic Records, the blueprints of the world, which can only be read using the mask's power. On the other side of the Ashen Forest is the old capital of the Kingdom of Salceta. It's, hell, it's called El Duque. Not to be confused with El Duque. <laughs> and in the center sits the Temple of the Sun. Ah! Where Lord Eldio lived when the kingdom still, still existed. Cool, so we're going to get to go to the Temple of the Sun. Supposedly, that's where the Akashic Records can be found. Supposedly? The door to the temple is sealed. We've tried to open it many times, but we've never been able to get inside. So we can't be certain what's in there, but considering his resourcefulness up till now, Gruda may have found a way. When... I was talking with Gruda. He also mentioned that Lord Eldiel is headed for El Duke as well. Hmm. It seems El Duke is the main point of interest for all parties then. Including you, Adol. If you ever want to learn the truth about what happened to you, you need to confront Eldiel. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. I'll bet you'd be raring to go even if you had all your memories intact, wouldn't you? Elder, I would like to go with Adol as well. Me too. Well, you are familiar with the route, but are you sure? In a way, you may be the single most unsuitable person for this task. I'll be okay. I've had more than enough time for my wounds to heal. Frida. Well, I know better than to argue with you. Nothing I say is going to change your mind. Go on, then. They'll need a guide anyway. Thank you, Elder. Okay, maybe her ability will get us to some of those areas we couldn't get to before? I'll be going... I will be going on ahead to El Duke. Hey. Are you sure you're going to be okay on your own? <laughs> I won't be alone. I have Saul with me. Yeah, well, the last time you were on your own, you engaged high idiocy. So, you know, maybe try not to do that again. And there are a few other things I'd like to look into. Indeed. About your ancestor, King LaFonce. Yes, I'd like to know what happened to King LaFonce and Lord Eldiel when the Kingdom of Sasselda fell. If I can learn even that much, I might be able to find some means of returning Eld Lord Eldiel to normal. Well, don't push yourself too hard, okay? Not going to say anything at all? <laughs> we'll catch up as soon as we can. Thank you very much. I'll be eagerly awaiting you. Take care, everyone. I'm certain that one day you, Eldiel, and I will be able to drink tea together once more. And I'll be certain to brew the best tea I could possibly find. Goodbye for now. There she goes. Feniman, yet courageous. She's a fine girl, eh, Ozma? No. I had no intention. <laughs> like animals, aren't they? Thorin, please, refrain from making such comments. The others have begun grouping me with you. <laughs> it's time we should get moving, at all. We have a lot of ground to cover. Maybe now they'll let me do some quests. Yeah, so quests and Duran. And let's also buy new equipment. I think the weapon shop is here? No. Yep. When you go to the Temple of Sun, right? Yep. Thank you for giving me that recap in case I forgot. Uh. Okay, I'm at the top here. That's why. Oh, I should probably go and get the quest board, huh? 
Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Fair enough, let's synthesize. Uh, yes. I think that's a great plan. Got plenty of that. I don't have any of that. I can't make that. Um, I've got five of that. Oh, there's going to be a rota leaf somewhere. That's pretty neat. Okay, there's nothing else really useful in here. Fair enough. Cancel the other shop. There's got to be another shop in here. I hope there's another shop in here. There we go. Yes! Wow, that is a big improvement, which makes me wonder if I missed something somewhere. Well, whatever. Yeah, let's buy the Soul Biter. Hell yes. Okay, how much money do we actually have? We're not going to be able to do this a ton. So I should be very, very, very selective. Sorcery robes, hmm. Yeah, let's equip it on Adol. I'm not gonna worry too much about that for now. Let's keep my money. Let's exchange. needed slime mold for something. I don't remember what. Man, we got a lot of this shit. Sure. Let's upgrade that. I mean, we may as well, especially when we got such a crap ton of some of this stuff. Does it cost us any money? Man, I've got tons of these though, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so let's sell. since these aren't very useful. Let's get some of my money back. Somebody here should be able to upgrade that. And if nobody can here, we'll warp to another village where they can do that. I don't think there's any other town here. Yeah, I don't think there is. I think these are all there's... Go up here to that quest board. Secret synthesis. Uh, need the ingredients for turn to stop 
top secret elixir, huh? Look for an accessory that increased my luck. If you have anything that seems to fit that description, bring it to me. I'll bring you a suitable reward. Librarian reverts and changes plant monster has been sighted in the subterranean forest. Go okay. defeat it. Okay, fair enough. Seems to be a subspecies of another type of beast caused a flora. If left alone for long enough, there's a chance they'll begin to multiply. Yep, go eradicate it. Alright, so standard beast kill. Easy enough. And they'll give us 10,000 gold to do it. So that'll be nice. There are the other two. Okay. Let's see what your deal is. Want an accessory for me? Why, thank you. So which accessory you're going to give me? Oh. You know what? Sure. This is an accessory that lets you obtain rare items more easily, correct? Seems interesting. I think I like it. Are you sure I can have this? Yeah, fuck it. Here's something for me in return. Okay, we just picked up 20 Enigma tablets. What the fuck is that? <laughs> we did well. Not, or not those. Temporary random effect. Oh, lovely. Oh, <laughs> what? Who doesn't want RNG-based boon and that you can't depend on? That's that's that was not a great deal. But all right, whatever. I wasn't really using that anyway. Do you need something? You put a quest on the board, right? We're here to talk about it. Could you just tell us what you need? Of course. I could rest easy if you're the ones taking care of this. What I need you to do is to bring me the ingredients to brew up a special elixir. Specifically, oh, I'm not allowed to say, am I? I almost forgot. Wait, you need ingredients, but you can't tell us what it is? That's a big danger. Oh, he can't tell us what he's making. I don't think we should accept the request of Tramp directly or indirectly harming people. Considering you're asking us to do this for you, I feel you have a duty to explain. That's a completely reasonable view, but I'm not the one who wants the elixir made, and I have a duty to protect my client's privacy. But I can't force you to accept either, so if you're not interested... Well, actually, I can promise you on his behalf that it's not going to be used for anything dangerous. As can I. In fact, I have a good idea what this elixir is, and if I'm right, there's no need to worry at all. So client confidentiality is the only reason you can't say then? The issue is not one of public safety? Well, if Durin and Frida say so, I think we can trust him. We'll just assume it's something deeply personal and leave it at that. Yeah, that's... <laughs> right. You know, my brain just went somewhere, but I can't imagine they're going there. Well, I'll leave it up to you whether you want to undertake this quest or not. The ingredients you need are, flour, uh, are follows. You have pale flour, libra flour, a rapara fruit, and a rita fruit. Then I'll need a poisonous organ and some frog extract. Oh, and some acidic liquid and a slime mold as well. I'll need one of each of these eight ingredients. If you're inclined to help, I would be most appreciative. Well, we do know how to make a slime mold. So... All right, so we need we need definitely need a slime mold, and we can. Where was that other one? I think it was. I think this was the shop, right? No, it was actually this dude. Right. Synthesize. We want to synthesize. No. No, we need to go up to the other area, I think. Right? Who's it this dude? Yep, slime mold. We need one of that. We have acidic liquid, so that's good. What's the other thing that dude needed? Well, I've got everything that I could make. I could always go back into the quests and check it, but... Fuck. Alright. What have I got? Uh, journal... Quests... I need, all right, so I need a Yapel flower, Libra flower, Raparo fruit. 
probably need a poisonous organ and frog extract. Hey, Nade, what's going on? I'm trying to figure out what I need here. It doesn't r do a very good job of telling me what I don't have, what I already have and don't have. But we could go kill that one thing in the forest. Right, because that's over here. How's your weekend going, buddy? Yeah, it's going to be over here. And I'm guessing now as we go into the forest, she can actually open up areas for us to go into that we couldn't get to before. Well, let's go try to kill this thing first off. It was in another room and apparently Freakbot raided to you. Yep. Oh, I'm about to gain some levels here. Yep, there it is. Let's take care of that. I'm getting a new modem. Ah, excellent. So life is good. So depending on how far we get, there's a song that you're going to recognize. Because I have actually, I had the original uh, East 4 OST rip. Um, and I ended up using that song for one of our gaming sessions. So it'll be interesting to actually hear the place, you know, actually see the place that that music was actually, you know, used in. Well, we'll get to that pretty soon, hopefully. One thing we will want to do is... You know what? We actually didn't get all that far. Let's go to the map. We still need to purchase silver in Highland. Yeah, let's go to Selray real quick. I also want to upgrade my equipment before doing this boss fight. So I think in Highland we can upgrade our shit. For some reason I couldn't do that in the other place. Do I have silver ingots yet? Damn it. Still don't have silver ingots? Yeah, you just allow me to do the same fucking exchanges that I could before. Fuck! Yeah, just... Oh, shit. You have shit, man! Um... Don't remember where I... Upgrade shit from. Uh, it's... I don't think it's either place. Oh yeah, we can unleash an artifact. Nope. Nope, I can't. I still don't have Amethyst. Hmm. That would be nice. Once we can get some amethyst. I'll have to keep an eye open for that. Yeah, that'll be badass, man. Once you get, you know, your whole internet situation sorted out so it's nice and stable. Uh. Alright, well, fine. Since we're here, let's check the board. I don't think there's anything new. Yeah, still just purchasing silver. Oh, signature collector. This is new. So set in flower. There are a few pages in my favorite notebook that I can't seem to be able to fill. Would someone be able to help me fill them? My son left to the mayor's mansion. What's up with that? All right, let's go check that out really fast. Uh, maybe this isn't the place we get this upgraded. Maybe I need to go back to Selray to get my shit upgraded. Ugh. This. Are you my quest giver? Yep, you're my quest giver. Hello, Kalika. Hello, Ethan. We saw your request. What's this uh, book about a signature book? I was given this notebook by my dad. It's full of names. I'm trying to fill out the rest of the way to talking to different people and asking their names to sign it. It's a rather peculiar pastime. Yeah, they tested signal strength that it pegged in the green, so the modem is like six years old. Oh, yeah. It could also be the cable running from the wall to the modem, too. I've had cables go bad before. I know, it's, it's kind of fun. There's a page for every letter of the alphabet, but it, but it probably is the modem. Modems 
especially you know once you get around that era around that age they'll they'll tend to you get issues with some of them i've i've had that happen more times than i would care to admit there's a page for every letter of the alphabet and each page has a space for a signature same starts with that letter unfortunately there are three pages i haven't been able to fill yet what letters do those pages start with one's q one's u and one z so is crap spelled with a C or a Q? Or damn it, I went to the punchline already. With a, C, with a C or a K? A uh, Q. <laughs> Spoken to lots and lots of people, but I haven't encountered anyone to sign any of these particular pages. I'm thinking there just aren't many people whose names begin with those letters here in Highland. And since I'm out of local options, I figured I'd try and look for some outside help. Great. Fuck. All right, so I have to remember who might have names with that and have them sign it, huh? All right, what do you think, Adol? Sounds like a really interesting request. It's a fucking scavenger hunt. Yeah, we may as well accept it. That's all right. We, we're gonna be talking to a shit ton of people anyway. And they're probably not even gonna be in this town. They're probably gonna be in other fucking places. Ugh. All right, let's go to the map. Let's warp to Selray. Fine, we'll go to Cell Ray. Maybe I could get my sword upgraded here. I feel like I went everywhere. I feel like I went everywhere in the other place, but whatever. Uh, no, we're fine here. Yeah, it's still the same shit. Ugh. This is the shop that allows me to upgrade shit. So yeah, let's reinforce the soul biter here. There we go. Got a couple of these. We can give it burn again. We can give it freeze. Got a bunch of stuff. Hmm. We could give it a monstrous talent for a ton of debuffs. Let's do that. Wow, it's going to be expensive. You know, probably worth it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to do it with that. Yeah, let's do that. Give it burn. Yeah, there's no good attack bonus, but the attack is pretty good on it anyway. And I could boost it again. But now we're getting into prohibitive expense, so no. Let's not do that. But that was still pretty good. That was worth it. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm trying to remember who's... If there are any kind of weird fucking names. Man, this is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Fucking scavenger hunts. see if there are new ones here. Oh, there is one. Super weapon test. I've made a few super weapons, and I'd like someone to test them in actual combat situations for me. If there's anyone who could use a sewer gauntlet, it's up for helping me out. Please come to the smithy. Oh. Oh, I hate these missions. <laughs> I'm always a fan of freeze more than burn. True. I think things generally resist freeze less often than burn, but I've had some pretty good... Um, I've had some pretty good success with burn in this game, so I'm, I'm sort of liking it. But yeah, the next time we upgrade a weapon, it'll end up having to be freeze unless I find something better. Um, well, shit. Do I go to the blacksmith and do that quest? Ugh. Not a fan of this shit. But, what the fuck? Why not? Hey, Ozma. Need something? Come to discuss your request. Figure here to help me out with that. That's great. Should we learn a sister at all? Yeah, let's accept. What do you want us to do? 
It's the one, not just any weapon, a super weapon. That's the important part. Yeah, I'm going to call... Uh, I'm going to press X to doubt on that. <laughs> any rate, as you can see, I'm currently a blacksmith's apprentice. So as part of my training, I decided to forge some completely new types of weapons. And you'd like those to test us. Well, at least one of them, yeah. There's one detail I should probably mention, though. These weapons need a little more refinement before they're complete. That's why I need them tested in actual battle with real monsters. They have to be put through their paces to work out all the kinks. In their current states, both weapons are a little unreliable. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, it's sounding sketchy. Of course it is. Well, uh, you'll be fine. I have two weapons, and I'd be thrilled if you test out them on the field. There's a sword and a gauntlet. Which would you prefer? Sorry to test only one. Wouldn't it be better us to taste both? I've made up my mind to focus all my energy into one or the other. Basically, whichever sounds more appealing to potential clients. I'd rather make one amazing weapon than two great ones, you know? So what'll it be? A spectacular sword or a superb gauntlet? Make your choice. Your path is incandescent. Lovely. Well, I'm not bothered any way, either way. I've already upgraded my sword, so... Let's go with the gauntlet. Superb toxic gauntlet. Well, looks and sounds awesome. I know, right? I knew you'd appreciate my greatness. Just for that, you can have this too. Picked up better potion. All right, I want you to actually do... Um, how about equipping this weapon and defeating five Rangoas? Can't remember where to find them exactly, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Once you've taken down five of them, let me know, okay? Good luck. What is a Rangoa again? And does it count if I'm with it or what? Wait, wait, let's equip... Superb Toxic Gauntlet. Yeah, that superb toxic gauntlet is not nearly as good as the Belial Claw I have. That's okay. Yeah, it's not going to show me where to find those, is it? Let's go to Journal. Monsters. I can at least go to the... Once I see it, I'll at least be able to go to where... Oh. Rangoas, right? That's what I have to defeat? Shit. Nope, not that one. Yep, super weapon test. Rangoas. Yep, I was right. Okay, so yep, we're going to the forest... Oh, we're going to the forest of dawn. Right? Yeah, we're going to the forest of dawn. Okay. We need to fight these things. Okay. It's fairly straightforward. Let's go fight five of these. Forest of Dawn stream. Forest of Dawn wetlands. I actually don't remember where these fuckers are. But I'm going to guess Forest of Dawn east. How are you... Oh, he's poisoned. Okay. Perfect. That's one way to deal with that. Alright. So I'm sure I have to make sure... No, no, no. We don't have to deal with you. Looking for boars here. Leave everything to me. Actually, let's. We're looking for boars. I don't think we're in the right area. I don't see any boars. Very annoying. I wonder where these fuckers are. Mostly these. Man, these things are annoying. Ah! No. I probably should have, uh... Leave everything to me. Hey, can you, uh... Now, this one's top. Oh, come on. You can't get through this either? Ugh. All right. That's so lame. My turn. Yeah. All right. That was one. It's alright, we'll just leave, we'll come back, and it should respawn. Perfect. 
wonderful. Oh, we got a poisonous organ. Shit, nice. We needed that. That was pretty awesome. Hey, buddy. Hey, I think we only need to kill one more now, right? That should be four. Assuming I'm poisonous organ, is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> hey, that was kill. That was five of them, right? Weak against nothing. Am I fighting something that looks like it, but it's not actually this? Shit, it's probably not this. Damn. We're getting close to 70% map completion, though. Yeah, it doesn't tell me if that's the right one or not. It looked like the right one, though, didn't it? I mean, it sure as hell looks like it. Oh, I went the wrong way looking for this shit. You know what, now that I look at it, I don't think that's the right one. It's similar, but it's not... No, it's not the right one. It doesn't have a peg nose. Fuck. I'm going after the wrong damn thing. I feel like I'm right in that once we, uh... Once we kill it, once we kill five of them, it will tell us that we've done it. So that'll be nice. Yeah, well, we got a little more of the map completion done, so that part's nice. Oh, oh these things are annoying. Oh, and I can't get to there yet. Oh, so annoying. I love how we can get up here but we can't actually drop down. Damn. Leave everything to me. There really isn't anything we should, we can do with here. Huh? Leave it to me. Man, that sucks. All right, fair enough. I wonder where this thing is. Let's warp to another spot of the Forest of Dawn. You know what? Let's go to the stream. Maybe it's over here. I think this is a different area. Man, this shit's this shit's kind of aggravating. That it doesn't tell you where they are. It just says Forest of Dawn. Forest of Dawn is enormous. Leave everything Leave to me. me. Like, there's a lot to the Forest of fucking Dawn. Is it at the entrance? I think the monkeys are primarily at the entrance. Alright, fuck this. I'll deal with that shit later. Where is that? Yeah, it's over there. All right, let's just do this one for now. I can always do the toxic one later. I don't want to get too bogged down with that, especially if I don't know where the fuck it is. Like, if it wasn't that hard to find, 
I'd be like, yeah, fuck it, let's just do it. But, like, I was wandering around the Forest of Dawn a little bit there. And we didn't uncover. We didn't encounter anything that looked like that weird little you know, man bear pig thing. Well, this sword does debuff the shit out of things. Perfect. Nice. Alright, so we're getting there. I'm liking this sword, man. Even for things I'm weak against right now, which is basically all of this shit. What the hell status ailment do you have? Let's get that. Let's at least kill these things. What are we dealing with here? Hopefully this isn't too bad. Yep. And here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> I just paralyzed, like, all of them. Holy shit. Yeah, they poisoned us, but whatever. They're dead. <laughs> Sucks for them. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty easy. All right, so now we just run back. Yeah, I'm poisoned, but whatever. I'll make it back to the... Um... I'll make it back to the healing stone. Before anything truly bad happens. Oops, I don't want to go this way yet. Let's cash in that quest, at least. Man, it's really hard to control when you're running full speed. Be fine. Thank you. All right. Oh, right. I need to cash in the quest. I don't remember who, who gave it to us. Uh, you gave me the weird one. I'm just going to keep doing that randomly. It's pretty cool that we have that now. Okay, nothing particularly interesting here. Shit ton of these. I thought there was a place I could refine the better materials like rubies and amethyst and all that, but I don't remember. I don't remember where it is. Maybe that's Komodo? I haven't been to Komodo in a while. We'll definitely take 10,000 gold. Please and thank you. Okay. All right. So let's go back to this shop. Actually, let's go equip. Equip you with the sorcery robes. Yeah, everything else here sucks. You've got sorcery robes. Cherie's cape. Yeah, I'd rather have the defense 15, personally. 
You've got the Carice Cape plus eight. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't think you've got anything crazy. Okay, but still, let's look. Okay, Karna, Shadow Eaters. Uh, man, or Calamity Pike for Ozma. I do like to have Karna in the party a lot, so let's buy that. Okay, let's go to armor now. <sighs> okay. Now let's equip that. Put it on Durin since he's with us. Let's also buy another pair for Karna. Okay, so now only Ozma is really kind of left behind. Okay. Alright, well, let's advance the plot a little bit. We can always come back here. Although, while I'm thinking of it. Man, we are so close to 70%. I do at least want to go to Kaznan real quick. Where where everything started. So I do want to go back here. Every so often we come back here. We get money. We get scoops from this guy. Chase scoops about the bar owner Mucho. He's actually a former miner, with a build like that, a really good one, you might imagine. But one day he just announced he was going to pursue his dreams. High quality muscles come from the high quality food. Is he planning to convince anyone of that by starting an inn, bar and restaurant, and serving only the finest quality stuff? Alright, well, still interesting to do anyway. Maybe it's because exploring the Great Forest is harder than people expected. But lately, there just haven't been many tourists here. It's always the same few people. It's so boring. Alright, let's see about the other information dealer. Just to see, since it's been a while since we've been in here. And of course, Sa uh, Sandra and Rogue look exactly alike. When the weather's present, you can see a shadow that looks like a tower deep in the Great Forest. I wonder if it's natural or man-made. Probably not natural. Maybe it's something else altogether. It's so mysterious. Yes, it's the Tower of Providence. You know what? Let's just for the sake of it. Oh, we got another... Oh my god, we got a hungover Pickard. I'm looking for medicine that'll cure a Pickard's hangover. If anyone knows of anything that might work, would you be willing to spare some? I'll be in the alley near the trading post. Lucier the Helpful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is, uh, that is a new one. Holy shit. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I, I gotta know what the hell medicine you need. Do we have what you need? We've got some pretty serious medicine. Looks like you have some of the cute little guy's hangover. So what did you bring? Uh, You would think antidote powder would do the trick, right? I don't remember what the other ones are. You would think this would work. Okay, I'm guessing this isn't going to work. Nope, that didn't work. Alright, fine. Oh, shit. So I just wasted two items. Oh, there we go. Well, I appreciate the 10,000 gold. <laughs> I'm not thinking drink again now that we've managed to sober you up. <laughs> Little one, I think you might have a problem. For now, there will be no more ever drinking for you. You hear me? <laughs> wow, a drunk picker. <laughs> we did well. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but we needed the money. We did need the money. All right, so we got 
all that done. I don't think there's anything else to do in Kasdan. So I'm glad I came here. Let's warp back. Yep, let's do it. Let's go back to... Oh, we don't want Table Mountain. We want Ashen Forest. Let's do it. I'm guessing at this point she'll finally give us an ability and maybe that will help us oh god gangway gangway Ugh. I thought I was gonna die from holding my breath so long we can't do this the whole time we're in the forest it's almost like those poisonous gases are coming out from everywhere in here you know for your whining your fools we keep practicing we'll be able to hold our breath for longer and longer periods of time and soon it won't bother us at all. Give us a break! <laughs> Come on. No, oh, it's you. You boar, how dare you address the great Commander Leo in such a dismissive manner. I will accept only Commander Leo or Sir Leo from the likes of you. At all. The area ahead of us is filled with poisonous gases. If you charge in unprepared, it won't be long before the poison kills you. How are these guys still alive? It's actually kind of impressive. The gases come from holes in the ground scattered all over the ashen forest. The best thing to do here is, well, leave it to Frida and guide us through safely, I oh. guess. Gonna make me do all the work? Nah, I don't work for free, you know. You hear that? Try to go to this part of the forest unprepared and you're liable to wind up dead. If you want to catch Gruda, right? Then the best way to do it is gonna be to follow us. Ugh. Coming second to you would stain my honor as a soldier. We, we will find a way. We should work together. Sometimes cooperation isn't such a bad thing, you know. And as long as we do our part too, all of us are equal. There's no shame in joining forces. Very well, men. If that is your recommendation. Now let it not be said, Commander Leo never listens. I value the proposals of my trusted subordinates. He's just out of ideas. <laughs> You're right, Nate. He's just out of ideas, isn't he? Of course he is. But this is the best we're going to get from him, so shh. Did you say something? Nothing at all, sir. All right. And Commander, Adol, now that everything's settled, how about a handshake in honor of the occasion? <laughs> Such a common familiarity does not befit a soldier. Oh boy, I'm gonna regret getting us into this, aren't I? <laughs> all right, Frida covers bla uh, gas blowing fissures with icy magic. All right. Leave it to me. All right. All right. Now. Fair enough. Take your side then. Oh, these things go underground. Great. All right. Well, so where's our... There's our memory. Wait, didn't I already explore everything out that way? There's stuff out there, but I can't get to it from over here. So I have indeed explored it. We're gonna have to come back around that way. All right, let's go to the right first. So there's only so much we could do over here. Oh, got it. Okay, we already got all that. Cool. Yeah, I thought I'd dodge it. Got it. Well, let's kill these things first. Oh shit, 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 shit. Yeah, you things, you guys explode. everything out of that. Now let's go explore over here. See if there's anything like a treasure chest. Ow! Oh, Alright. Well, we'll take purification powder. Whatever the fuck that is. 
Oh, we're in another part of the forest where it turns day and night all over again. That wasn't good. Alright, just out of curiosity, do we just regain health here, or are we in an area where we do not regain health? Oh, we do regain health. Excellent. So let's just pause for a minute, regain some health, keep our eyes and wits about us. Our adventure's only just beginning. That's right, Adol. <laughs> in a second, that HP meter is going to start flying up, and then we can resume our quest here. Great time Let's to step away and go downstairs. Move. Yeah, right? I'm never making that mistake again. I can't believe that fucking happened. Walking up the stairs and I'm hearing a lot of activity. I'm like, I'm not at my computer. I look over. I'm just getting my ass kicked. Adol's dead. Yeah, nothing bad will happen. Oh, my God. Although it looked clear. You know, it looked clear. Oh, you guys bastard. Where is it? Nope. Okay. Decent job here. What does a Kaiser potion do? Oh, cool. Now I've got two Kaiser potions. Sweet. Of course, I don't know. All right, so we've got all of this. That probably connects in there, and then that would go up that way. Well, I don't really know which is the best option here. So let's just let's just go this way. So when I come back to this area, I know what I didn't do. Quick. Closing in on seventy percent. Still got me. Ah, uh, more of this shit that we need to eventually break through. My turn. All right. She really can't do anything with that, huh? All right. At some point, we're either gonna get another party member. My turn. Leave everything to me now. Or we're gonna get an artifact that allows us to break that shit. God, I can't wait. Leave it to me. Chico nuts. So there's a treasure chest that way and a spot we can't get to there. Yeah, let's just go this way. Table Mountain. Oh, okay. And this brings us full circle. This literally brings us full circle. What? Oh, right. We were able to get to that spot before, but we couldn't get through, through it. Okay. So now we've got an easy way to go in a circle. Sweet. Okay. All right. Right. We'd come down this far. We were able to get to this, but we couldn't freeze over that. But now we can. Cool. Okay, but we still can't get through that. That still sucks. All you little bastards. Fuck you guys. Screw you guys. Leave it to me. All right, all right. Leave it to me. <laughs> I don't think so. Homie, don't play that. Obtained a movability belt. What the fuck is that? All right, all right. Wait, that's probably an artifact, right? Nope, it isn't. Mm 
Can't be knocked back during skills. Nice, actually, that's not so bad. You know what, that could be really useful for bosses. That could be really useful for bosses, holy shit. All right, so we've gone everywhere in here that we can. Uh, it was a cave back there? Uh, not the cave back where? Are you talking about the tent? You might be talking about this. That was a that was a campsite. It looks it looks uh it looks like at that zone. Maybe if I go back to the main menu, main map here. What do we uh this here's our here's our table mountain camp. Yeah, I don't see a cave. The cave icon is here. Uh, and I was I was in a cave before I, I've been in that cave uh, and I've been in the sunlit ruins and I've been in the forest la yeah I think there's only been a couple of caves here yeah the underground ruins that was another cave uh, yeah I think this was the real I think this was the only true cave um, but no keep keep an eye out man uh, I appreciate appreciate you looking out um, yeah the the Jade Cave. Oh, apparently there's some other stuff in there. So I should probably go... You know, I should go back to that Jade Cave and see what I can get in there. It's been a while since I've been there. There might be something new I can get. But I don't think there's anything else there at the moment. Alright, so let's head back. Alright, we've got everything we've got. We've been able to get this way. Uh, does the map splinter and go northeast? So, okay. So, um... So here's our... Yeah, the map map isn't really all that great um so yes it does and i'm sort of and the reason i'm i feel like i'm going at it fairly systematically right um so what i think i'm gonna do here is here's oh it doesn't allow us to highlight us um but you see our icon here and so what i'm gonna do i think i've gone all the way i can up and to the right uh not this map the local zone map okay let's let's go back to the local zone map so right now what i haven't gone through yet is that unexplored area right here in the middle? Uh, that way, yeah, right there in the middle. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is go that way now, and then go up and see what uh, see what's up. Um, unless you're talking about this. Um, but yeah, same thing here. There's like that little red zone there, but there's something obstructing it, so I can't I can't get there. Now there might be, but yeah, um, east of the plant. Um, that that's just a campsite. Yeah, there's no cave over there. Whoops. There we go. Now I timed it right. Yeah, the icons can be really... Oh, fucking thing hit me again. Yeah, some of the map lexicon icons aren't really all that great. Hell yeah. Set that fucking thing on fire. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go. Man, these things are really roughing us up. Holy shit. So let's go this way. Uh, we already went all the way down that way. That's a memory we're going to want to get, but we already went all the way that way. So hopefully... Ah, fucker still got me. So let's go up here. Oh, we probably got another one. And we're going to have two ways. Okay, that's that's the direction we're probably going to have to go for that memory. Alright, well, let's, let's wait here for a second. But no, I appreciate you looking out, because it's better to be sure. I'd hate to miss something because I was looking Let's right at it. Because <laughs> that is super lame. Um, but no, I feel I feel confident knowing there, there wasn't a cave over there. But yeah, at some point on that map, once we could break through that, like, crystallized plant, we can then go north at that spot and keep going. I'm thinking once whatever we get the ability to break down that, we can also explore those remaining areas Our in the Forest of Dawn that we've been uh, kind of trying to get past since the very beginning of the fucking game. Durin, what are you going to... Okay, no. <laughs> okay, that was... um, What's her name? Um, Jeez, I've already forgotten her name. Durin, please don't go... Don't go aggroing that. We're, we're trying to regain health here, buddy. Please don't do that. <laughs> please, 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 please don't do that. 
Alright, save. Now let's go kill this thing. Down we go. Oops. Alright, let's go get this memory. Hopefully, if we just go down. Yep, here it is. Frida. <laughs> memory time. We're going to get another memory. Oh, okay. Lisa and uh, Saul here. I'm terribly sorry for surprising you. Your name is Otto Kristen, is it not? I've been searching all over for you. My name is Lisa, and I was sent to find you. Consider me an escort. Ah, so this is how we first met Lisa here. As I said, he's been handed down in my family for generations. Handed down in the Armstrong gener family for generations. <laughs> Seems sus. <laughs> How many? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I haven't been told any such specific details. Yes, there's a town called Highland. At all, I can tell you have many questions you'd like me to answer, but we really should be leaving. Could, could I ask you to climb onto Saul now? We could talk while we travel. <laughs> These things always come back. There we go. Now we can go up. Alright, where do I want to go? Oh man, there's so much to do here. Uh, yeah, let's go up first. Let's just go up. Let's go up and get this treasure chest. I thought I could get the treasure chest before. Oh, that was nice. Ten strange mass. That'll be useful for creating something. Oh, Jesus. Managed to get through that, despite the fact that there were four of them there. Pretty unheard, all things considered. Oh, didn't even have to dodge it. Oh, defeated 2,000 enemies, wow. Is this why your move is Saul Breaker? I think so. <laughs> and I did use Saul Breaker. Didn't I? Did, I think I used Saul Breaker on Saul. Um, to defeat him. Let's go to uh, equip. There we go. Yep, we'll take that. Sorcery robes plus three. I don't see what the difference is between these. Oh, this one uh, has burn resistance one and frozen resistance two. So yes, let's take that. Sorcery robes. Yes. Okay. So now Ozma doesn't have a completely shitty defense. Move out. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't go near those guys. Uh, well, we destroyed them, so that worked. But yeah, sun, the sun has a lot of uh, symbol uh, symbolism in Memories of Celsetta, I've noticed. You know, Mask of the Sun, Saul being her, you know, weird pseudo uh, fucking 
Gundam thing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big motif with uh, with this game. Hell, even the original was uh, each of the original games had it, part of it in there. But Dawn of the Sun, or Dawn of East rather, or Mask of the Sun. All right, we're almost there here. Save. I would prefer to keep that. I really don't see, well. Um, so there's the town. That means there probably isn't a whole lot to do this way. Let's go find out. Yeah, uh, that was that was already a broken hypothesis. So let's go up this way. Pretty good at dodging it. But I'm still not to the point where I just dodge them every time. Alright. Alright, so either way, we've got crazy shit going on. You guys are kidding me, right? Oh, motherfucker. Alright, so what the fuck was this way? This is ah, and now we have the golden axe. <laughs> Oh, increases obtained gold? Eh. Yeah, I'd rather just have the prevent paralysis. I don't really care about gold. It's kind of neat to have the golden axe, though. That is one weird fucking statue. Holy shit. Okay. Going off this way. Leave it to me. Leave everything to me. Now. There we are. Great. Now that you now you can kill Death Adder. <laughs> right? Fucking great. Oh, interesting. So by doing that, I now couldn't go this way. Can I seriously not go this way now? Oh, that's interesting. And now that would require me to do that to go over that way. Alright, that's good to know. I don't need to bother, so I've already gone that way, but... Oh, you've cursed me, I guess. That's not great. Annoying. Right, what's up this way? My turn. <laughs> Guard elixir? Hmm. Let's find out. There we go. Oh, it just does defense plus three? Yeah. Hell yeah! That was awesome! Leave everything to me! Alright, so I'm cursed. Oh, I have a... There we go. Yeah, we'll, just... we'll just cure curse, why not? But now that we know something can afflict that... Yeah, I don't have anything to prevent curse. Curse you, Runchable Spoon! <laughs> So we got more of this shit that I can't break through. That's super awesome. And I say that with the maximum sarcasm I am capable of. Don't, 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 don't fucking... 
Now, I wonder why this one's red. Man, it would be wonderful for a drink that cures misfortune, wouldn't it? What the fuck? That's the basic outline for our invasion plans for Highland. Incidentally, I have no objections if you wish to finish that Leo off. He's harmless enough, but he's become a nuisance. Would that be wise? I almost wonder if this is not a memory of Adol's. We wouldn't want his death to cause us any trouble later. <laughs> He's heading into dangerous territory. Nothing suspicious about kicking off in a place like that. <laughs> Precisely. We can accomplish this without anyone suspecting a thing. <laughs> That's what you wish. Yeah, because this is as Commander Remnos. So what the fuck? What? Present from the Mask Division? Yeah, some delicious looking mushrooms. Oh my god. They brought them to us earlier. Maybe that means they finally accepted us. How about we cook these up tonight so we could build some strength for the coming mission? Hmm. Alright, so now we gotta go save these stupid asses. Cretan, what's the meaning of this? What do you mean? In my younger, poorer days, there was a time when I could only afford to eat mountain mushrooms. And thanks to that, it's something of an ex I'm something of an expert on them. So I could say with some certainty that these are poisonous mushrooms. Not particularly dangerous ones, however. They wouldn't kill you, just give you a light stomach ache. Why would you send something like that to us? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Honestly. Insolent child. So as much of a fucking buffoon this guy is. Well, that was certainly an interesting memory to uncover. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, good. Alright, so we didn't go to the north because we can't. Let's see what else we got. better with that. It only took me playing this game, you know, 80% of the way through to finally get decent at the flash moves. Actually, that was such a long memory. I should probably save just to make sure, but yeah, I think I'm right. Oh, I definitely don't want to fight that gigantic thing in the water. That was bad enough on land. All right, so this way leads up this way. Let's just do this now, and we'll come back. Wow, I have no idea where I'm at. Let's go to the main map. Ooh, we're at 70% though, fuck. All right, so the Ruined Kingdom is that way. I would like to cash in the 70% at this point. Yeah, I can't get to those anywhere from this area because that area was blocked. So we're gonna have to get to it from over here somewhere. Be really nice if we could find another stone fucking monument, but that's neither here nor there. Wow, that thing looks fucking enormous. Let's not fight that. That certainly looks uh, ominous. <laughs> That's that uh, doorway we couldn't get in, that they couldn't get into. All right, so that being the case, maybe I should work my way over that way. That's obviously the way we're supposed to be going. So just for the completionist's sake, let's do this now. Fuck. 
bastard. But whatever that is, I can't... It can't seem to come over here. So that's interesting. Deal with that when we come back. My turn. Fine. Until Addo gets over his heavy. Interesting over here. At this point, I just want to explore it just to do it. Whoops. Nope. Don't mind me, Mr. Fish. <laughs> God damn. Ah, another campsite. Perfect. Let's get another memory back. Although, interest. Now I'm really confused because this normally would belie Leave everything Leave to it me. To me. a place that we would be advancing. Now I'm really wondering if I'm going the right way or not. Adol felt his body drift into a slumber. We dream again. We dream again. Ah, Adol. we're at Eldale again. I invited you here to impart knowledge upon you, Adol Kristen. However, as I look at you, I can't help but feel some doubt as to whether or not such action can be justified. Or rather, I suppose you could say I've been having these doubts for some time now. Perhaps since before I even came to this land. What kind of knowledge? Ever the curious one, I have decided upon a specific piece of knowledge I intend to give you, but... Hmm, should I or shouldn't I? For a long time now, I've watched over this world and granted wisdom to its people, maintaining harmony and balance. I've always seen this as my calling and dutifully performed these actions time and time again without question. I suppose the windmills of Highland would be appropriate simile for my present state of mind. All right, so usually there's a tablet <laughs> near these. Good morning, Adol. We're almost at El Duke now. Okay. As this area has always looked like this, it hardly feels like a forest at all. It's actually kind of creepy. Supposedly all these spores started appearing around the time the kingdom fell. Not that there's any point in talking about the history of the place right now. Come on, we're almost there. Let's pick up the pace. All right, so the other place, the other way, is where I was supposed to go. But still, should be a tablet. Gotta be a tablet. Come on, give me a fucking save tablet, you fuckers. And we got... We got more, and we still have all these all the way over here. So yeah, I guess this is the way forward. So yeah, let's go back over there and see if I can get some of these. All right, so I guess what's going to happen is this is the way over to this spot, and then this is the way to get these memories. Okay. Man, I'm almost at 80% at this point. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now what? Forest of Spores. But we can't get past it. Leave it to me. All right. We still can't get past it. So, all right. Well, I guess there's going to be something over me. in this area. I guess time to backtrack. Off in this direction we go. God damn it. Such annoying shit. Although, since we found that stone tablet. Good, we could just go right here. Perfect. Back to Kaznan we go. Let's turn in that area. But then, when you fight the final boss, you get to the area that's reversed. I need to get to 200%. <laughs> I. Man. That was such a delightful surprise. I had no idea there was going to be an inverted castle. Oh my god. That was such a great game. Because even up until that point, it still felt like a complete game. It really did. So yeah, the inverted castle was an absolute delight. Ah, you've come to record your progress. You've made exceptional progress to have filled this much space in such a short amount of time. There we go. Let's get some money. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't get the 70% or the 60%. I bid you farewell for now, but I will eagerly be 
Be eagerly awaiting your next report. Ah, that's too cool. Well, we got lots of money. I still don't know where the hell the other thing is, but those stupid beasts in the Forest of Dawn. No idea. Fucking things. Yeah, this map's looking uh, pretty big now. What was this again? Oh yeah, the Tower of Providence. Right, and then we went to the... We went to Tower Mountain. Right? So this should be Tower Mountain. Island Town? No. Table Mountain. That's right. So we got to Table Mountain, descended this whole thing, and got into the Ashen Forest here. Alright, so... Let's go back to the Forest of Spores. It was on Reddit Battletech thread earlier. Oh? An aerotech pilot referred to a mech warrior as a mech driver, and I felt that was a missed opportunity for Thanatos. <laughs> oh man, that would have been amazing. You know, if only Reddit were around when we were actually playing Battletech. I think people would have been interested to see how that campaign went. That was a—I mean, all of those campaigns really were fun as fuck. All right, so which way? Right, that's the area I can't get to because there's something obstructing our way. So we have to go down this way. Oh, goodbye. Nope. See ya. See ya, fishy. Nope. Not messing around with you. Actually, I'm about to gain a level. Right, and then we go, yep. We started going this way and then it looked like all right, this fucking thing. Do we try to fight this thing? Isn't everything. Nope. Okay. Nope. 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 Back away from that. Well, if we're really careful. Ow. Good, we managed to get it. I didn't think it could hit me from that distance. Let's heal. Honestly, you're running a, yeah, you're running a Battletech game would be awesome. <laughs> it would be fun to run that again. Let's get moving. Good old Battletech. Man, this thing hits like a truck, man. But I think I could do hit run attacks because it doesn't move. And even though it's got a crazy range, we can get in, get a couple licks in on it, and back off. Oh. This thing's got to be worth, like, a fuck ton of XP, right? For it to be that tough. Like, I can't help but salivate over the XP. <laughs> Does it heal while you do? No, it doesn't. Our Enemies do not heal, thank did. goodness. At least I don't think they do. We're going to find out. If it heals, then fuck it. We're going to move on with life. Find out. I don't think it does, though. Nope, it doesn't. Ah, shit. Damn it. So I need to get this. All right. So equip. Prevents paralysis. Prevents heavy. <laughs> and we're all heavy. Where's cure heavy? I don't want to worry about that. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my cure all everything. Damn it. Ow. Fine. Let's just do this. Do a shit ton of damage to it. Let that fire do some damage. Oh my god. No, it's not good. I didn't think it could hit me from that range. Okay, let's wait. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yep. I was just thinking the same thing. Looks like a good target for Soulbreaker. Yes, it was. 
we got it we took like a good chunk i think we took like a third of its hp off right in just that one fucking thing it's pretty awesome but yeah it got us a couple of times Let's that time moving. yeah i know i know uh not free ren friedel <laughs> I've been watching Free Run, the anime. It's really good. Um, headline, it's basically Record of Lotus War, but from Deedlet's perspective, after all of her old party members have grown old and died of old age. It's a very bittersweet anime. It's, it's pretty cool. It was like a brilliant idea. Okay, now let's see if Seraph can kill this fucking thing without acting like a complete dipshit. Alright. Damn it. Got it that time. Oof. And that's brutal. That gross a slef. Level 42. Yeah, it's 10 levels above us. We should get going. That's pretty hardcore. I should have just passed this, but at this point, I've come this far. I've just got to finish it off now. I'm still going through Delicious and Dungeon. I'm on episode 12. You should be pretty close, right? Mm. I've been thinking of watching that since. I'll probably be forever. Uh, yeah, yeah, good call, man. I just finished episode 12 anyways. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like Delicious and Dungeon. It's a it's a very quirky anime, but it's but it's fun. That is a that is a really good one. Of course, my slice of life anime I've been watching this particular season has been um, The Many Voices of Voice Actor Radio, which is, it's almost over. So once it's done, then I'll be able to um, be a little more consistent on whether or not it's good or not, because parts of it are a little strange, but. There we go. Hell yeah, that was worth it. Um, I sort of like it though so far, but some of the drama feels like it could have been only two episodes instead of like four or five. I'm not thrilled with the pacing in that sense. Alright. So cool of it to give us a preview. I do like setting these things on fire. Hmm. All right. So at some point, this will be a way we can cross. All right. Well, the memory is going to be there. And there's some other bullshit here. So let's go with the memory first. How did you get cursed? Ugh. Wrong way. Doo -doo -doo. Let's get this memory. Hey, there's Dogi again. Thanks to you, we managed to find those wild Silsetan flowers for Dr. Flair's medicine a lot faster than we thought. He says he's going to head back to Hysteria and start experimenting with them as soon as possible. He was up first thing this morning doing exercises. Way too excited for a man his age, if you ask me. I guess you're the only one, only as young as you feel, honey. Huh, I'm still kind of worried about him, though, so I'm going to escort him to Promalock. Don't go doing anything crazy while I'm not around, okay? You seem to get in trouble the second I take my eyes off of you, and I'd rather not have to hire a babysitter. I don't want to come back and find that you've gotten yourself shipwrecked or thrown in jail again, you know? <laughs> that never happens to at all. There we go. Maximum HP increased again. Perfect. All right, so now, now what am I doing? Uh, well, you know what? Let's go up to the right, because I don't think that's going to be a long-term. Let's 
Let's rule this out. Oh, okay. This is quite unusual. Oh, nice to find another stone monument. Bastard. God damn it. I hope that I truly haven't found what I need to get through this and that I'm not just too dumb to figure it out. But I'm pretty sure I either need another party member or I need an artifact of some sort to get through that shit. Okay, well, let's see what the story is with this. Damn, I missed a killing the thing. Was it worth it for the XP? Yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> it. It was worth it. We all gained a level off of that alone. Frogs in puzzle. Use a game pet or mouse to drop stones into the pedestal. The pedestal will sink in accordance with how much weight you've placed upon it. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, Nade, we found the cave. <laughs> You're, I, I don't know how, I don't think you knew the cave was here. I didn't know this cave was here, but that's badass. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, look at that. Bullshit. We have found bullshit. Of course. Of course we have a boss battle. <laughs> Ribby Roy? Oh my god. <laughs> well, at least we don't have to fight all of those. Oh, we do. Of course we do. Oh, these things just keep coming? Well, that's me. Alright, that wasn't too bad. It's like one of those Earthbound Mother 3 battles where the enemies keep calling for help. Yeah, right? Yeah, once I realized they just kept coming, I'm like, alright, there's no reason to waste my time with this. Just go after the boss. Dragon Quest 2 is the first one I saw that feature in. <laughs> well, let's see what we fucking got from these assholes. Beast King's Claws, huh? Okay, this probably lets us finally get through some of those fucking things. Although that is kind of cool that we didn't kill them. They just bow down to us and give us shit. Yep, can be used to destroy brittle walls and rocks. Motherfucker. Finally. 
Finally! Alright. Okay, so let's go artifact, water dragon scales. Take a silver dragon charm. And I'm guessing at some point we'll, uh, hey, can we talk to you? No, no, I can't. But it is kind of cool that it lets us talk to them at all. All right, well, yep. You, all right, you guys are cool now. You could have just, like, been cool the whole time. You know, just throwing that out there. How do I break things? Is there nothing to break up here? No? Okay. I'll take the... We'll definitely take that stuff. That now made this worth it. Okay, now we could finally, finally break through some of those. Oh, there's something over here. Hi. Oh, I already. Okay. Well, that was badass. Okay. I don't think you guys should attack us. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Alright, well. Let's go over here and get that other memory. And then we'll go to the Forest of Dawn and we'll finally break through those areas. Oh my god, I've been looking to do that forever. Look, dickhead. I wanted to just pass you, but no. Okay, so how do I break these? Um, am I totally missing something? Did I not equip it? Destroy certain obstacles with B button. Okay, never mind. Ah, okay, we dash through them now. Okay, that's pretty neat. Yeah, we'll take the 6,000 gold. Okay, so that's how that works. <laughs> Phew. Well, I brought him this far, but what am I supposed to do now? Even when he regains consciousness, he probably won't remember a thing. Guess I should leave him a bit of gold at least. Hmm, maybe buy him a simple weapon too. Otherwise, he's going to be in trouble when he wakes up. What with all his belongings back at that waterfall. Oh, hey, looks like it's almost time. Sorry to do this to you, man, but, well, I guess he'll be okay here for a little while. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, the red memories are things that are not my memories. Hey, you there? You're late. <laughs> what kind of man keeps a lady waiting all this time? Couldn't help it, okay? Freed is a real slave driver sometimes. I've got a lot on my hands right now, you know. So how is he? He's still unconscious, but he doesn't seem to have any major injuries. I doubt he'll remember anything at all when he wakes up, though, so I think I'm going to stay with him for a little while. What? You don't need to go that far. Do you realize how long I had to fly to get here? Are you really going to make me do this every single time? Well, what else am I supposed to do? Anyway, let Frida know, will you? <laughs> is that rain? Damn, I hope he's okay. I'm gonna go check on him. See ya. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Honestly. <laughs> he really is too nice for his own good. If he'd at least stopped trying to be so nice to anyone, he might actually get somewhere with Frida. <laughs> oh, man. Idiot. <laughs> Yay, base defense increase. All right, now, map, warp, fuck yeah. We're going over here, and we're finally going to go into that area. I'm going to finally figure out what the fuck's over there. It's been, it's been driving me fucking crazy the entire fucking game. Right. 
fuck you. And you too. <laughs> uh, yep, it's that way. Dooby dooby doo. Don't mind me. If any one of you hit me, though, I'm gonna kill you. Just, you know, letting you know that now. in the water. Warned you. Fucking little bastards. Granted, it really was just a scratch, but... Not that it's the thing we're looking for anyway. Although it would be nice to find that stupid uh, monster we're supposed to kill five of. All right, finally. Oh my God. My OCD is finally satisfied. All right, what the fuck is over here? That was so important. We couldn't be here. Gold pedestal replica? Okay, that's probably going to be important, to be fair. What the fuck is over here? I don't even see anything here. It's just a ruin. Okay, green stones and yellow mass. That's pretty nice. Where was the treasure chest? I didn't see it. Oh, here it is. My turn. Well, this ought to be good. Really? That doesn't seem to have been worth it, but okay. Sure, whatever. Maybe I can upgrade weapons and shit with that. Take the Mark Thurl Mushroom. Okay. I don't know what a sunstone is, but let's find out. Is it an artifact? Nope, it's not an artifact. It's not a sunstone. Or it's not a uh, art item. What? So what is it? Key item? Oh, it's a key item. Faintly radiates heat used for forging ancient weapons. Oh, okay. It's the thing you get when you charge a moonstone for thousands of years. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. So I guess that's going to be pretty awesome in a little bit. Um, I don't think I can use it yet, but shit. My turn. I guess Leave what we'll do is uh, let's, let's go to the map here. Oh man, we are so close to getting that now. Bad ass. Okay, oh, we actually have an area up here that we couldn't get to before, so let's just keep going while we're here. I guess we're gonna have to go to Cell Ray and see if the uh, blacksmith says anything about us having a sunstone. I'm guessing they will. Although my guess is also we're still probably too early. That was an interesting sound outside. Not sure what the fuck that was. Okay, so there's that. Oh, you little bastard. You managed to poison me. What a little shit. Uh, all right. I don't remember which way to go here, so let's just go this way really fast. Let's see what's doing here. All right, so yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah, that's that treasure chest. Let's go get it. And the cool part, we can just warp once we're done here. I've had enough of your shit. Really? We did all that for a skill ring three? I mean, it's still a nice one, but it's not great. Alright, 
so we've done that. All right. So now we've... Oh, but there's still more to explore that we didn't get to explore. All right. Well, let's not warp then. Let's go down this way and we'll go the other way. Okay, fine. Thank you. way. Back out this way, and then up this way. Fine. So you guys are trying to fuck us. Goodbye. Alright. What do we got here? Take the Selsudden Panacea. Yeah, those barriers were driving me crazy the whole fucking game. Something tough. Oh god. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, or... Okay, you know what? Let's... Items. <sighs> okay, so this is bad. What else is up here? Oh, it's... Hey, Durin. Oh, god damn it, Durin. I just want to get this thing and get the hell out of here. I'll turn you to out. No, no! Damn it! I don't want to. Why does it do that? Smash to pieces! I hate the fact that that's the same button. My turn. <laughs> Come on, open the fucking thing. Let's get the hell out of here. Map warp. Asnan. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's find out what the hell that was and why it was awesome. It's gotta be, yep. Changes, changes the extra skill. Okay. Okay, let's find out what the fuck that is. Of course, I used my extra still skill, so I can't take advantage of that, but still, badass. Yeah, I should have just equipped the damn dash artifact and run up here. But let's get our newest, which is probably just gold anyway, but sometimes they give you uh, items. And report map progress. Let's do it. <laughs> the old snatch and run. That's right, Rob. That's right. Once I realized how deep in the shit I was, I'm like, fuck it. Run to the treasure chest. Warp the fuck out. <laughs> You made exceptional progress to have filled this much space in such a short amount of time. Oh well, yeah, same bullshit. Oh, well, 30,000 gold. That was nice. All right, map. Let's warp to Cell Ray now, uh, which should be right out here. Yep. I'm guessing this is the village that's going to actually let us... Uh... you. Oh, you're not going to do anything until I do that, are you? Fuck. Arr. What can I do this soul stone for? Is that going to be over in... 
No, remove the marker. Warp. Uh, Force of Spores. Let's go to Danan Village. Maybe someone there knows what I could do the uh, do with this Soul Stone. I think I have the ingredients yet. Yeah, of course not. Oh, okay. You pell flower, lever flower, repair fruit, or read a fruit. Then I'll need a poisonous organ. We've got that frog extract. We probably don't have the frog extract, but we do have slime mold. And we do have acidic liquid. So, alright. But you're not telling me anything about the fucking sunstone that I have. I have this dope sunstone that's gonna allow me to do something cool with it, but you're not gonna give me the fucking thing, are you? Mm. All right, I'll just continue. But now we have the ability to get through some of these areas. So, I think we ran into one of them over there. You know what, we did, because we couldn't get past some of those areas. And the easiest way is probably to warp here and just go down. Let's do that. We have a new extra skill, so that'll be nice once I actually activate it. Yeah, it's gonna be this douchebag. Goodbye. Uh, which way do I want to go? I think that way. Um, try and go down. Oh, did I just forget to go this way? You know what? I may have just forgotten to go this way. Oh no, we were still exploring this area when we got that and was like, alright, finally, we can do this shit. And I started doing extra shit. Uh, alright, so... Yeah, let's go down so I know what I've explored here. That's why I did... You know what? Good pass, Seraph. Ah, and that's where... Okay. So now I don't have to worry about that. That leads us into this area. Sweet. Okay, perfect. So we've explored all of that now. We can now go up this way. Oh my god, that thing got really fucked up for all my debuffs. <laughs> Man, those things are tough. Holy smokes. Okay, so now we've explored all of that came down that way we went we originally came into this area from there we went out that way there's the frog area we went down there okay so now let's find out what's over this way yeah, at this point I'm kind of looking to explore let's not deal with that I already fought one of you fuckers I do not want to do that again That's right, bitch, run. Fucker. Now we'll take the healing tablets. Uh, then down we go. You. Okay, guys. Calm down. It's alright. No, get away from that. Jesus. Man, that thing does so much damage. Motherfucker. Alright. Ah, and then... Okay, so over here is gonna be... Probably a barrier of some sort. Yep. Here it is. Perfect. 
All right, and then we've pretty much come full circle then. All right, if I go to the map, should look pretty good. All right, I don't see anything else that's all that weird. Although if we go back that way and then go up, there's an area we didn't explore. But I think that's the, okay, so yeah, there's a drawbridge and we couldn't go over it that way. But once we're on this side and we're coming back, we'll probably be able to lower that drawbridge and go over on this side. So yeah, we are good to go. Let's warp to the forest of spores. Sweet. I'm glad I wasn't dumb as shit and I just didn't have what I was, what I needed to break these. But I suspected that it was probably... Okay, we already got what we needed out of that. Okay. I don't know what that is, but let's get it. Damage tide? Yeah, we'll take damage tide. I don't know what damage tide is, but we'll take it. This is one weird fucking place. What the ever living fuck is that? Wow, that's a lot of coal. Holy shit. Okay, well. Okay, so we go now then. We go down now. Of course, we can't see shit as we're going this way. Fortunately, we hear them coming. awesome. Let's find out what that is. Hell yes. I'll take a permanent strength buff. I will absolutely take that. everything in this area yes not like it's some of the damage we took in that but let's well I do like some of the items we took so let's heal real quick and then we'll move we'll proceed I do want to at least reach the temple of the sun tonight because I'm very anxious to hear what uh, what uh, song they use for that because for the most part in this game I've noticed that in Memories of Silsetta, they use a lot of the similar music, but they've remade a lot of it. And I'm digging the remakes. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the Memories of Silsetta OST. I only have um, the East 4 that came out to the, for the Turbo Graphics is OST. So yeah, I only have uh, Dawn of East. So some of the tracks may not even match up, but a lot of them... Seem to. If we just went through all that. Alright, that 
one's gonna be a problem. Useful in there. Yeah, let's get away from that. I'd rather not fight in water if I don't have to. How did we explore all of this? Huh. Whatever. Oh, okay, that's how I get up. I'm like, how do I get up here? Well, let's juggle the fucker. Yeah. Purple stone. Ah, we'll be able to make amethyst with that eventually. Um, there better be more to do over here. This time. Right. Hopefully that means we got the fuck out of here. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I wanted to save. As soon as I saw it was going to be a boss arena, I wanted to save. Fuck. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. All right, Seraph. You didn't save in a while, so fuck you, dumb shit. Arc strike, huh? Let's find out what this does. Let's open up with this. Holy shit! Okay, that was pretty awesome. So far, so good. Damn it, there it is. Damn, I didn't hit any of it. Fuck. Let's heal a little bit here. I think it's time to use one of those. Come on. Am I not able to hit it here? What's going on? Damn it. All right, so that mist goes in that direction. What the fuck just happened there? What is going on? I don't... I hear stuff going on, but... Okay, it just decided to go into a new form, and it's being weird about the camera angles. Jesus. I'm poisoned, because of course I'm poisoned, and I can't re-equip now. That's really annoying. Uh, Wish I could turn that off. I don't know how to do it. I don't even know how I'm doing that sometimes. Where it uh, just focuses. Oh. can tell where I have to get. I have to get behind it. But I'm having a hard time. Oh. Okay, that was stupid of me to try to do that. I should just let it run. There we go. 
Hey, you want to do that shit again? That'd be convenient. Okay. Alright, I've learned it now. Kind of hyper, uh, do that shit right now. It's gonna be hard to get behind it. There it is. Got it. Pummel that scrotum, yeah, and in the yellow testicle. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> this would be a great place to use a fuck him up as an alert. Oh my god, yes. You know, I'm, I actually meant to do that. I just have to, uh, I still have to get a, the audio clip of that, but yes, I have, I have absolutely had that thought. Great minds think alike, man. <laughs> uh, all right, so that wasn't too bad. Just have curiosity. Ah, Frida's also Slash. Let's mix up our party a little bit. Let's put... Let's put Karna back in here for a little while. Let's make her work a little bit. Wasn't anything there anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, it is what it looked like, right? It totally looked like a scrotum. Oh, hello, cat. What's up, Cleo? Hi. I love you too, Cleo. What you doing? Hello, Cleo. Hold on one second. Him. Hello, miss. My foot is not a toy. Come here. Come in. Hello. some water? I have water for you up here. Come here. You want water? No? Maybe she wants water. Come on. Come on. Up, up. Good girl. You have water right here. Come on. Come on. There you go. Hello. Purr, purr, purr. I know that's my water. And it's empty anyway. I already drank all of it. You can't be over there. You clearly can't go over there, young lady. You try to play with the wires and everything else. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's switch while my co-host here decides to uh, be a problem. Hello, Cleo. <laughs> Hello, Cleo. Who's a good girl? What's up, Cleo? Hello. Hello. Oh my god, that's a cup, that's a cloud of fur. Okay, let's get that over there. I, no, that's my water. That's my water. You have water right here. And I filled it before you came over. You can't have my water. That's the water you can have. And you actually have water. It's empty. See? It's empty. 
There. Have it. You happy? You're looking at my water now. Guess what? There's nothing in it. No, you can't be over there. You can't be over there. This last time, you decided to try to chew my mouse wire. You can't have the mouse wire. It's not a toy. That is not your toy. I love you. You can have pets if that's what you want. If you're hungry for food, I'll be happy to take you downstairs. Is that what you want? He's looking for a tent. No, you can't play with the mouse. One thing you can't have. You can literally have everything in my house. Help. For anybody who's ever been over to my house, you'll know that there are cat toys everywhere. This cat <laughs> truly is a very spoiled cat. But when she's... You don't want water? You really don't want water? What you want, honey? You just want to keep me company? Why don't you lay down? Why don't you lay down and keep me company, huh? Nope. Okay. She keeps going back there. So that tells me she's probably hungry and she's looking to distract me. So, why don't... Oh, no, you're going to you're gonna get a drink of water? You sure you want water now? Or are you good? Or are you good? Or do you want me to go downstairs and get you some food? I can give you some food if you want. No, you're going to be okay here for a minute? Okay, never mind. Maybe we're okay resuming here then. Sorry, everybody, for the cat interruption. But, you know... <laughs> my, uh, my roommate decided she wanted some attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's such a goober, but I love her. All right, so let's, let's save. And let's see what memory we're about to unlock here. This ought to be good. No. No. You can't go there. No. Because last time you were a complete asshole about it. You were. So now you can't go back there anymore. Okay, we've got the frogs. Are these weird things speaking some sort of language? Oh. Ahem. Let's go back to the end game so you actually see this. Luckily, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> this is literally... I activated the memory, and this is all there is. Cleo, you are distracting me. And I love you, but you cannot be such a brat. I love you. I know I love you. Okay, well, I would narrate that if I could. And we've got more woodland animals, and I don't know what these are. I still don't know what's going on. Hi, Cleo. You know, once this memory's over, I'm going to go downstairs and give her some food. I think she's hungry. No! I showed you that cup. It's empty. Mm. Stop. I really do love you, cat. <laughs> hey, Kara, what's going on? <laughs> You're coming at interesting time. There's a scene I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I thank you, Nikki, for, for handling that. So greetings, Raiders. Uh, right now, my feline co-host has emerged from her slumber, and she is uh, she's being a brat. <laughs> you know, let's 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 switch to just chatting here for a quick second. <laughs> she's just out of view, and she's being a complete asshat at the moment. There she is. Hello, Cleo. Uh, I'm not really sure what she wants. I think she might be hungry. Yes, hello, Cleo. She's she really is an amazing cat. <laughs> she's giving me grief at the moment. But, uh, oh my goodness, that's a big tuft of hair. Fur. Hello, Cleo. Are you hungry? I think she's hungry. So, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna... I need a refill on my water anyway. Even though she's got hair in it. You hungry, baby girl? Yeah, you hungry? Okay. This is what the noise is. I thought you were ripping it. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks, Kara. Appreciate that. <laughs> So yeah, let me do that really quick. I know. Welcome, Raiders. Give me five minutes while I deal with my cat. <laughs> uh, oh, never mind. You're you're good over down there, cat. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, I don't think you're good down there. I think you're just waiting to cause another interruption. But that's just me. Uh, so let me just <laughs> give me one second, and we'll get back into East Memories of Salsetta. I'll do a proper recap of what we've discovered up until this point, because we're gonna be playing this for uh, another hour yet. I hope everybody's weekend... Oh, go ASCII dogs. Yeah, that's going to wait for me in a second when I come back. <laughs> yeah, it serves me right. But let me just make sure my cat doesn't actually want anything. I think she's hungry. I think that's what she wants. So let me deal with that really quick. And I will be right back. I have all the Lego ones minus Ninjago in the movie. Nice. I will be right back, everybody. Hi, Cleo. 
Hi, honey bear. <laughs> no, Nikki's the freaking goat mod. <laughs> Deleted. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for deleting that. I appreciate it. As a mod, I feel like I'm supposed to delete that. Yes, please. Please and thank you. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are great. All right. So, yes. Welcome, Raiders. I hope you, the seas were kind to you, Kara. Uh, no, wait. You were playing uh, Helldivers. I assume uh, democracy went... Oh, shit. Okay. Which is... Which is my... Just... <laughs> Mine actually has less water in it because I just already drank some water on the way up. Uh, if you do post this vid, might want to trim that part out. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, hopefully I remember to do that. I assume democracy went, oh shit, Seraph. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, that was like perfect. I didn't even plan for that either. I'm just looking down at my two cups and I'm going... Which one's mine, and which one's the one that my cat just drank out of? I never really know. Uh, but yeah, I assume uh, democracy uh, democracy went well there, Kara. Assuming I, I, he may have just uh, headed out after raiding to get some food or something. I know I do that all the time. I'll raid, say hi real quick, then do a bio break or get something to drink, eat, and then like after like anywhere between five and twenty minutes, then I'm like, all right, now I'm now I'm into into things again. Um, so there we go. Let's go back into in game. Oh, we are in game. It would help if I actually went back here. Okay, so yes, we have uh, we basically explored more of the map. Um, we've uncovered a lot more memories. We now know, have an idea of why we were here to begin with. Dr. Flair from the land of East sent Adol and Dogie to get some flowers. I'll leave you a Discord reminder. <laughs> yeah, I might need that. Thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate that. And so, uh, we, um, we found the Mask of the Sun, which everybody's been after. Unfortunately, uh, Gruda, Commander Gruda, Lied to Lisa about it. Told Lisa that the Mask of the Sun would get Lord Eldiel back to normal. So she goes, bashes down this barrier that had been protecting it. Uh, Gruda then predictably steals the Mask of the Sun. Shocker. Um, and so now the Mask of the Sun has been stolen by all of the various bad parties. Let's see what other important things did we do that I you know I think that's it for the main hits of the plot you're basically caught up but now we're uncovering new memories that are pretty important man that's a nice treasure hoard if I only knew where the fuck that was so we've got things we cannot understand I wonder if we'll eventually be able to understand these things I'm trying to figure out what's going on here uh, is that your chair mic'd up? No, that's in the game. Hey, Sal, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, that's that's noise in the game. My chair is not mic'd up. <laughs> yeah, the animals are making all sorts of really weird sounds. But, uh, hey, Sal, uh, long time no see, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what's... I have zero idea what's going on in this memory. Although this, these fuckers look pretty excited. Let's see. And one wearing glasses? No clue. <laughs> I feel like doing a David Attenborough voice. And so here we have a bunch of creatures who have no fucking idea what they are, and their natural inhabitant, or so I assume, because I have no idea what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Although he is way too classy to curse, but man, that would be hilarious. Let's see. Oh, we're getting close to the, um, so we have a pretty good idea that, okay, so what the Mask of the Sun allows the possessor to do is to read the Akashic Records, which has the blueprints of the world in it. And so now we have a pretty good idea that that's what the bad guys are after. And so we're going to the essentially the ruins of the uh, 
capital of the kingdom of Celsetta to find the records and hopefully get the Mask of the Sun back and stop them from doing whatever the fuck they're trying to do. That is a really, really big one of these things. Okay, so I guess we got to find... Oh, and then he likes fruit. Okay, that's good to know. He likes fruit. You know, I'm really hoping I didn't miss some sort of really important artifact that would allow me to understand all this shit. That would really, really suck if I missed, like, a side quest or something along those lines that this is actually something we could understand. I don't think that's the case, but that would be super lame if it were. I'm just, at this point, I'm just pressing the button to advance this. But we can tell something from the little, you know. I am gonna sing that's French. And you know damn well I can't read that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd fail French too if I took it. <laughs> okay, which way do we go now? Uh, okay, I think we go this way, right? Well, we'll find out which way we're supposed to go. Okay, we're supposed to go this way. Does anyone here speak dog? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We finally made it to the ancient battlefield. I'm sorry. Ancient what? <laughs> it's officially called the Colonia Battlefield, though it's the only battlefield around. And the last fight took place ages ago. It's the spot where Lord Eldiel and King Lafonts had their final confrontation. Ah, okay. Wow. Okay, so these two really duked it out. And we've got tons of weird new shit. Great. So Lord Eldiel, when he went mad with power, I guess, and the King of Celsetta had a fight apparently here. King Lafence was human, wasn't he? How could a battle with a human being possibly cause this much devastation? I think he was commanding Saul during the battle, just like Lisa back in the Dun. Ah, well, that would explain it. He used just about every piece of technology available to him in his attempts to pacify Lord Eldiel, Saul included. I'm sure it started out as a plan B, but when fighting a god, you're not likely to push too many options off the table. The Gabalans are created using the forbidden arts of your village, correct? Does that mean King Lafonts himself was from Danan? He wasn't, no. He was one of those guided to this land by Lord Eldiel, much like our ancestors. But unlike the others, he was a good man who tried his best to prevent them from turning against the gods. One of the few righteous men who stood in opposition to the Darklings. Eldiel's the one who brought those Darklings back with him, right? I wonder why. I've always felt he could be forgiving to a fault at times, but I mean, he is a god. Yeah, that sounds like one of his good points. One of the things that makes him so special. I completely agree. I wonder at what point a good king like that would find himself left with no choice but to rely on forbidden technology. We'll never know for sure. But seeing as our ancestors were lending him the aid of those forbidden arts, it must have been a dire moment in history. Hmm. Come on, Adol. We should get going. Yeah, I definitely needed water. So it's just as well that I headed down there. Uh, all right, so we've got a gigantic battlefield and once again, more really shitty camera angles. Let's see. That looks bad at. What the fuck? Oh, we can go up this way. I think I want to go down this way first. Let's explore. Ah, uh, we got an ad break while we kind of explore here. Ooh, blade barrage. Holy shit, that looks awesome. Okay, well, we're gonna do that from now on. Blade rush. Blade barrage. Hmm. Honestly, Blade Rush looks... Blade Rush seems better. But we'll do Blade Barrage. Does that look really effective? Nope. 
Do not hit me with that shit. Head down this way. Yeah, I thought I'd finish him off with that. No such luck. Paralysis! Eat shit, you little bastard. Oh. I just dodged that. <laughs> that was so fucking close. Alright. I'm guessing this is these are both going to be ways up. But maybe not. God damn. Oh, okay. Well shit. Now I want to go up the other way and see what was there. Fuck. How far on the map are we? We are closing in on 90%. My goodness. What the fuck are the memories? Ah, uh, we're starting to track towards these other memories. There are no other memories that I haven't caught, right? At this point, everything else is good. We've discovered all this shit. Yes. All that is discovered now. We don't have anything weird. Oh, we've got that over here now. I really should go up here and figure out what the hell is down there. That's weird, right? All right, next. You know what? We're actually by this monument. What's the closest way to get to that? Man, that's weird, right? Yeah, I want to go. Let's go find out whatever... Yeah, you know what? Let's just discover this, and then we'll advance. Because I really do want to get to the Temple of the Sun tonight. Okay, that thing's big. Ow! Okay. okay, so that's the way up and around. All right, so let's go this way, see what's up over here. Interesting, we got a couple of treasure chests. Damn. Okay. New plan. New plan. Gale shoes time. Don't mind me passing through. Do 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 do. Okay, that's obviously a fucking. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? All right, map warp. Okay, fine. Ruined city. Yeah, this is the ruined city of El Duke. So what the fuck is this? That's where we're supposed to go, right? There's some sort of ruin here. You know what? I think I'm supposed to go to the ruined city of El Duke first, and then we'll come. I think we're supposed to go to the ruined city of El Duke first. So let's do that. Damn it. Keep doing that. Let's go to the city of El Duke first. I think this is the way we're supposed to go. This is where the plot's taking us. Let's go here first, and then we'll deal with whatever the fucked up thing was. Hey, check that out. Pretty grand looking building. <laughs> We're here. Everyone, welcome to El Duke, the capital of the ancient kingdom of Salsetta. Hmm. The ruined capital. So this is the place, huh? We finally made it. It appears the Masked Division are patrolling the area. Yeah. Shocker that they would have gotten here first. If they find us, this might get messy, so we're going to have to be extra careful we're not spotted. Where's the temple? The Temple of the Sun is at the highest point in the city, since that's where the god himself resided.
What is the significance of that enormous tree? Now there's our rota tree. Guarantee it's a rota tree. Yep, that's a rota tree. A spirit tree created by Lord Eldiel. I believe you've seen smaller ones in the areas you've used as camps while traveling through the forest. Oh, I had no idea they grew this big. Though it's still not as big as the great tree in Komodo. Why are they called spirit trees? People of a certain degree of magical power can supposedly communicate with them spiritually. But this rota tree is different. It fell asleep when the kingdom of Saseta fell and has never woken up since. Oh, little do they know Adol can talk to them. <laughs> Let's go up to the Temple of the Sun and see if we can figure anything out. Right. Oh boy, here he goes again. I see that smile on your face. The more dangerous the situation, the better, huh? Fucking ain't right. Come on, everyone. Let's do this. All right. Oh, arrived in the ruined capital, El Duke. Part of me almost wants to go back to that other thing. Maybe the other thing's a, uh, an optional boss. How bad could it be? Of course, with this angle, it's not like you could even see what the hell's going on here. Anyway, ma. Uh, yep, we're almost at 90%. Ah, there he is. Isn't that... Yep, there's Remnos. Uh, no, Karna, do not run to your brother right now. I know how you feel, but we need to be careful right now. We can't afford to blow our cover. I know, I'm sorry. The second and third regiments will remain here to guard the temple. The rest of you, hurry on ahead. I'll follow after delivering my report to Lord Gruda. I wonder where he's going. Adol, this is the perfect chance to have a closer look at the Temple of the Sun. Now let's go check it out before they come back. Let's run up there really, really fast. They are going to come back. Hmm. Yep, not getting any closer, but I do want more of the map. Don't mind me. Yep. Don't worry, I'm just exploring more of the map, buddy. So how's everybody's weekend doing? I hope everybody had a great weekend. Let's go check out this door. I'm sure there's going to be some puzzle associated with it. Don't see anyone else here. Well, this is the place, the Temple of the Sun, once the center of the Kingdom of Salceta. So this is where Lord Eldiel used to live. The building appears to be in better condition than its environs. It's really frustrating to think that what we're trying to protect is right within our grasp, but locked behind this door. Let's open the door. Oh. Weren't you listening when the Elder and I were talking at all? We've tried to open this door more times than we can count, but it's just not possible. Oh, it's possible. You just haven't done what needs to be done to open it. Maybe not, but we still have to try. At all, you take that side. Honestly. <laughs> it's times like these when locked doors are meant to just magically open, you know? Ah! No, could it be? The door remained firmly shut and sealed. <laughs> I even have the soul stone and everything. <laughs> Seems that doors do not have the magical properties you attribute to them after all. That was hard to watch. <laughs> Damn it all. We're so close. If only we could get to those Akashic records, we could ruin Garuda's plans completely. Come to think of it, whatever happened to Lord Eldiel and Lisa? They should have gotten here before us, but I don't see any sign of them anywhere. Hmm. Nina, will you go look for Lisa? Seriously? That sounds like such a pain. Please. Fine. You know I can't refuse your little requests. Honestly, mm, cruel and unusual punishment that was made this way. <laughs> Memory of Kolkata. <laughs> yeah, no, not quite. <laughs> Nina, is a fairy created through alchemy? Uh, you said, do you know who created her? Oh boy. Did I touch upon a sensitive subject? No, it's quite all right. Nina was created by my ex-fiance. What? 
<laughs> and of course, Kalilika loving the drama here. Was he one of the villagers we saw in Danan? I'm guessing it's Gruda. No, unfortunately not. He left Danan a number of years ago. Oh, a number of years ago. Are you saying... That's right. He left at the same time as Gruda. My apologies. I had no idea. Do forgive my indiscretion. No, please. There's nothing to worry about. Really, it's all in the past now. His younger brother left around the same time as well. He said he was determined to bring his older brother back home. I wonder where they are now. Idiots, both of them. Oh, okay, so it's not Gruta himself. Frida. I'm sorry, that turned into quite a tangent. We need to decide what our next course of action will be. Right, Durin? Durin? Oh yeah, sorry. Our objective is to return Eldil to his normal state and to prevent Gruta's plans from coming to fruition. But without significantly more information, we have little chance of succeeding in either goal. Figuring, figuring out how to bring El Lord Eldil back is going to be a hard one. We haven't got the slightest idea where we should even start looking. We may need to do some research and try to find out exactly what happened 800 years ago. I'll spare you the trouble. Yep. <laughs> These assholes. You again! Got us. <laughs> I trust you've all been well. So you've been lying in ambush for us this whole time, huh? No, I'm afraid you're not important enough to warrant such wasted effort. We're meeting someone else here all together. What? <laughs> well, that's fucked up. <laughs> I'm unable to move. No. Here's our guest has arrived. Yep, El Deal himself. You grace us with your presence, Lord Eldeal. What? Lord Eldeal? Damn you, Gruda. I hadn't even considered the possibility he might be involved with this Lord Eldeal. That explains how he knew so much about the sanctuary and the tower. Indeed, what better source can one consult than Lord Eldeal himself? Hmm. I see we have some unwanted guests, Gruda. I do apologize, my lord. It appears they must have entered while I was busy hmm. elsewhere. No matter. We have more important things to discuss. You brought the item I requested. No. It's right here, my lord. It honors me to be the one returning it to its rightful owner. None are more worthy of its possession than yourself. Please accept it as an offering from me to you. The mask! Ah, the mask of the sun. How long has it been since I last held it in these hands? Oh. Whoa. It's beautiful. Yep. Open. Holy crap, it worked! So that's why the door wouldn't open. The Mask of the Sun was its key. Really? You guys can figure that out? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the resting place of the Akashic Records has been laid bare before us. Come, Gruda. Yes, my lord. What are you going to do? Ha, huh, must I really state the obvious for you? Lord Eldiel is at last going to become a true god. Stay where you are and consider it an honor to witness such a truly historic moment. Yeah, fighting those assholes is not going to be fun. At all. Lord Eldiel! The door's closing. Oh shit, the door's closing? Well, fuck. Get back here, Gruda. Damn it all. I kind of thought the door would stay open and we'd be able to just follow. Well, that sucks. We uh, didn't make it. Fucking paralysis. So now Lord Eldiel and Gruder are both inside. We have no choice but to try to find some other means of opening the door. Searching blindly without even knowing if an alternative route exists does not seem to be the best use of our time. Right, but we have to do something. Maybe we could start by searching the area around the temple. Assuming there's another way to open this door, this seems as good a place as any to look for it. We might find some clues on how to bring Eldiel back, too. This isn't over yet. Well, let's not just stand around, then. we got to get moving. Let's go. 
All right, so now I'm stuck looking for bullshit. Collapse the dumb temple with them in it. <laughs> if only... See, if this were like D&D, &D, you'd know damn well we would think of something like that. All right. I don't think I can get to that treasure chest. Okay. Nope, I can't. Oh, look at that. Convenient that I had that memory before. What's wrong, Karna? It's nothing. I just thought I sensed something nearby. Something? Like a beast? I don't know, but I've never sensed anything like it before. We should probably do a quick sweep of the area just to be safe. Let's do this. Go over here. Go find this little critter. There! Over there! That creature is what I sensed. I'm sure of it. That looks like a... <laughs> I see. Adol, let's follow it. Where are we? We seem to have entered the roots of the Rota tree. I had no idea there was a place like this here. This way. Come along now. Stop that, Durin. It's creepy. You're much too old to be making voices like that. Honestly, it's the sort of thing a ten-year-old would do. You're going through a midlife crisis. Now just hang on a minute here. How come it's always my fault? I didn't say a thing. I think it came from inside. Really? I guess we can go take a look. Ugh. And we found the ruse nest. What is this place? It's full of creatures like the one I sensed. <laughs> They're so cute! Just as I thought, these are one of the many sacred beasts of the forest. They are called ruse. Sacred beasts? There are a number of different kinds of sacred beasts living in Salsetta, all bestowed upon the world by Lord Eldiel. These ruse are one of the more renowned, though. Spartas are rather popular as well. Do the Spartas live in this area? Not here exactly, but they do live in the outskirts of El Duke. That's right, Ozma, you... Do you want to go see them? I'm grateful for your concern, Adol, but right now we have far more urgent matters we must attend to. Perhaps we can see the Spartas after we've finished here. Sounds like you've encountered the Spartas before. I am most familiar with the Spartas, yes, although this is not the time to discuss it. So Ozma is a Sparta kind of handler, so to speak. May I ask why these ruse are considered sacred beasts? I'm afraid I don't know very much about them myself. Legend has it they used to be monsters that could speak in human tongue. But that was long ago. I can't imagine that voice we heard earlier could have come from a rue. It sounded more like an old man. Well, only one way to find out. Let's go farther in and snoop around a little. That plan is very you, Durin, but I certainly can't fault its logic. Yep. Okay. But it lets us do it? Well, that's kind of cool. We still have enough bitter potions. Let's buy some of these. Uh, yes. Yes, we will buy the fucking completely crazy, much better weapon. Yes. Yes, we will, we will definitely equip that. For sure. And you know what? Yes, we'll buy one rune cloak and we'll equip out all of it. I'm not going to go crazy with those, with the rest of it, though. We can come back for the rest of these and equip everybody else, although we've certainly got enough money. But for now, uh, let's let's call this a day with that. I can't... Okay, yeah, we still have all that shit. Okay. But cool that the shop works, even though we didn't understand a word they said. <laughs> okay, yeah, we don't understand a single word any of these fuckers are saying. But one of them is glasses. So let's find the glasses one. Hmm. Let's go deeper in. Let's see. 
None of these have glasses. Yep, he's still doing all that. Ah, here's the big one with all the fruit. What? <laughs> you know, I wonder if being nice to all the animals throughout the game pays off here. Whoa. Is that a roux? I'm not sure. I've never heard of them growing so big before. But that voice we heard of Ben. Yes, that was me. I am the Grand Roux, the oldest of all the Roux here. And I am the one who summoned you here. It could talk? <laughs> I can hardly believe it. Well, I'm the one you heard. But it was actually the Rotatree that asked me to summon you. I'm merely acting as a go-between since you can't speak with it yourselves. Honestly, it really is quite a bother, and I'd much rather be resting right now. But the Rotatree simply wouldn't take no for an answer, and wouldn't leave me alone until I did what it asked, the meddlesome thing. <laughs> See, it had been asleep for these past several centuries, but it awoke when it felt an evil presence in the Temple of the Sun, one very similar to the presence it felt before it fell asleep in the first place. Or so the senile old fool claims. Does that mean the Rotatree knows how the Kingdom of Sasetta collapsed? Naturally, much like now, Lord Eldil was a bit touched in the head. The evil presence in the temple at this moment is exactly the same as it was then too. Exactly. It was King Lafonce who managed to bring Lord Eldil back to his right mind, and he gained the power to do so through another mask, a twin, possessed of the power to oppose the Mask of the Sun. Or again, so the senile old fool claims. Another mask? That's right, the Mask of the Moon. <sighs> Let me talk, you old windbag. I swear, trees make the most worst conversation partners. <laughs> the Mask of the Moon? I had no idea such a thing existed. The Masks of the Sun and Moon are two sides of the same fruit. With the Mask of the Moon, you would be able to enter the Temple of the Sun. Really? Or so the senile old fool claims. Do you know where this Mask of the Moon is? It's been a long, long time since that mask's presence was last felt. No. Oh. However, there are two places that seem to be exhibiting similar energy patterns now. One of these is Mount Vesuvio, where the late King Lafonce went to train and meditate. The other is the ruins on Lake Lictomes, where he is said to have first resolved to establish the Salsetan Empire. Or so he says, this damned tree! Both Mount Vesuvio and the Tomes ruins are on the outskirts of El Duque. They're not far from here at all. Let's go, Adol. We don't have much time left. Wait, there's uh, apparently one more important fact you need to know, and this had better be it, you old fossil. This is fucking great. <laughs> it's the way to counteract Eldil's madness. Okay, what is it? Neither I nor the Rotatree know the exact method, but King Lafonts must know. Memories are often left behind in places to watch the soul, as the, to which the soul has a strong connection. As you've lost many of your own memories, surely you're familiar with this. I believe, for you, they have thus far manifested in white. I'm sure you'll learn more by experiencing the memories of King Lafonce for yourself, should you come across them. And they are out there. Or, well, you know. We'll do our best. I wish you well, says the Rota Tree. Hmm, uh, really now? Don't mind me, I'm just catching up with this old splinter. Take care of your journey, young ones. So says the Rota Tree. You've been a great help. We truly appreciate your assistance. I need to rest now. The Rota Tree has made me already weary bones, mightier, even wearier with this incessant chatter. Sleep uh -oh. is calling me. I don't think he's going to wake up again for a good long while. It seems our next two destinations are Mount Vesuvio and the Lake Tomes Ruins. Both are out past the temple grounds, east exit, and both are treacherous, so we can investigate either one first. Let's go, Adol. All right, so what I think I'm going to do, I still can't talk to any of these and understand them. Nope, I have no, no idea what any of you are saying. But let's go talk to you now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, poor Ozma. He definitely got left out. So let's upgrade you with the Grail Spear. Yes. And let's upgrade Kalilika with that upgraded mace, for sure. Let's see. And I could probably buy two rune cloaks. So, who's getting it? 
Uh, generally been running around with Durin a lot at the moment, so let's equip Durin and... Karna. Alright. That's it. Yep. Alright. Let's see. So we're going two different places here. So I'm guessing... We came in through that way. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing we can go to Mount, the other mountain up that way. Maybe there... Wait, what the fuck's going on here? Hmm. It'll tell us here. Okay, so Mask of the Moon and... Oh, really? It's the only option? <laughs> Guessing it's going to make us go to each one of them. Why won't you go to that site? Won't go to that one? Why? It's so bizarre. Oh, Mask of the Moon and Mask of the Moon. Okay, so both of them are going to be this direction. Okay, well, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, there's more to explore over that way. I kind of want to go to that just to see. Since I can't get into the fucking temple anyway. Oh, we can't kill it. That's so fucked up. I thought we killed it. It's just like Saul. If we can't kill it with our current weapons, there's no reason to waste any more time fighting it. We should fall back for now. Well, that's fucking bullshit. Alright, well, I'm glad I didn't waste a whole lot of time on it. Fine. Ugh. That's so annoying. Alright, what other areas of this did I not go through? I may as well explore the rest of the colonial battle... The colonia battlefield here. We're just gonna run through it. Fuck these guys. Fuck these guys in particular. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm just exploring here. I just want to see if there's anything good. I'm not wasting my time actually fighting things at the moment. Sure, I'll take a power ring four. That's pretty nice. Actually, while I'm at it. Don't worry, we're not fighting it. Okay. Did we already get all that? Okay. So, yep, time to go over that way. Let's see what's over here. Don't mind me. Oh, there's nothing over here. There really is nothing over here? Okay, there's a flower. Really? There's nothing else good? No. Oh, okay, just that shit. Fine. But I got my 95%. Mission accomplished with that. Okay, all that looks clear. Uh, we kind of like to go down that way. Let's do that really fast. figure out the rest of this ashen forest. There's something off in that direction. Thank you. Right. 
going the right way. Yep, so far so good. Yeah, I got, I guess I got distracted. I thought was over here, and I missed. This is rare. Oh, well, we'll definitely take gold ingots. We needed that. Of course, we need silver. For that one stupid thing. What the fuck is that? You know what? I don't need to find out. Map. Warp to Kaznan. Boom. Let's get uh, that last bit. And uh, damn, it's ten thirty. Er. Yeah, it might this might be time to start thinking about calling it. But I think we're getting so close now that we might. Because I know we're not finishing the game tonight. But um, I'm thinking. Hopefully, we're getting close enough where next stream, we might actually be getting close enough to finish this game. That would be awesome. Yeah, let's report the map progress. But we're going to go a little bit just to see what's out there. You made exceptional progress to fill this much space, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know why I read oh, 50,000 gold. Thank you. I do appreciate that. So now if I go back to the ruse nest... I could buy even more shit. But I think at this point, let's, uh... Why is there a treasure... Is there a treasure chest I haven't gotten? Is that what's going on here? Oh, right, yeah, the Sacred Beast Slayer. There is still that one treasure chest that we never got. And there's a treasure chest we missed in the Tower of Providence somewhere? Well, fuck that. I'm not getting it. <laughs> Screw that. Ugh, why do I keep doing that? Let's go to the ruse nest. We'll head back there. Let's at least start going this way. Because I am curious to see what the love the area at least is. But yeah, I'm I mean I don't think we're gonna be at this very much longer. I think I'm just gonna see what's what it is. Get a sense for what the uh, the actual track is gonna be. Because I am curious to see what music they are using for it. We should be able to get whatever treasure chest this is. Ooh, that's a nice one. Sacred Beast Collar. Okay. The fuck is that? And if that... When equipped, turns party members into ruse... God damn it! If I had just grabbed this, we could have talked to all of those fucking... God damn it. We could have talked to all of those ruse. Mother... Fucker. Although it is still pretty cool that we could talk to that. Uh, we'll go back and talk to the ruse in a minute. I will go back to talk to the ruse. I want to see what the area is beyond this. <laughs> I am curious to see what the area is beyond this. But of course, El Duke outskirts. All right, so we got more outskirts to do. Oh, we got a memory over there. Yeah, let's just see what's up. Let's see what's up. Oh, we got new monsters. I'm just curious what's over here. Is there anything neat? Or is this all just kind of bullshit here? This probably circles around. Not fighting that. You. This is what I wanted. Where is it? There it is. Let's go see what this memory is at least. Frida! I've got a message from Durin. He grew to show up, up in Kaznan. Ah. <laughs> now we see their perspective of things. So he finally resurfaced, did he? We always knew this day would come. What about the other two? Are they with him? Mother? No, those two brothers aren't with him as far as I can tell. Mother, I'm going to report this to the Elder. Are you sure you're okay, Frida? I'm fine. We won't let Gruta get away with what he's done. 
I'm not talking about Gruda. He can't be forgiven for taking the black key out of the village. Even if he doesn't show his face this time, I'm sure he'll be judged for his mistakes one day. Until then, all I could do is keep fulfilling my duty. Frida. There we go, we got some max HP. Okay, so I missed a treasure chest up there. But just the same, let's head over this way. See what's down here. Oh, I already went that way. Perfect. Ow. Well, that sucked. Hey! Thank you. Ah, here we go. Lake Tomes. Okay, so we have to go to this area anyway. So this might be... Once we find the warp stone here, that's going to be... Ow, you son of a bitch. Oh my god. Really? Damn. Okay, fine. Let's just go this way. I think we could have taken it, but it's also not worth the trouble. Takes a sudden Pelicia. There's that. Okay, perfect. So once we get to that, it's time to save. Wow, the water here is so clear and beautiful. Holy shit, that sword looks awesome. That's like a diclave, man. It really is amazing. Looks even clearer from up close than it did from the top of the hill. Yeah. What is this place, Frida? These are the Lake Tomes ruins. Although despite the name, they're still actively used. Actively used? That's right. I believe they've been in use ever since the Kingdom of Salceta was first founded. These ruins serve a very important purpose. Let's go inside, shall we? Fingers crossed that we find some kind of clue to the Mask of the Moon's location in here. I'm guessing the Mask of the Moon is going to be in two different pieces. Save. It's just the same. Let's see. Alright, well this place looks awesome. Wait. Save. And title screen. I think we've done very well here. Let's exit. Let's see who we can now raid out to. I wanted, this is a good time as any to uh, thank Karajitsu for uh, the raid. And before him, One-Eyed Freakbot, thank you very much for the raid. It's been a nice, uh, nice, been a real nice way to end my weekend as we uh, play more East 4 here with Memories of Salsetta. I think we're really closing in on the end of this game. Next stream really might be the end of it. So maybe I'll stream it on Saturday just to make sure I give myself a little extra time to finish it off just in case we're really close and then you know it's like eh, do I really want to play for another hour and you know so anyway I think Saturday next Saturday will be a good time to do that but um, anyway for this coming week my plan is to stream again on Tuesday night and Thursday night that's at least the plan barring schoolwork and other various obligations you guys know how it goes uh, I always kind of try to give myself a little bit of wiggle room just in case. But, um, so anyway, uh, what am I trying to do here? There we go. Thank you. Oh, it looks like, uh, we got a couple of, we got a couple of choices here. Um, oh boy, Cobra's playing Leisure Suit Larry. We gotta, we gotta raid that and see how that's going. So let's do that. Um, <laughs> Uh, that, that definitely, I, I gotta know how that's going. Um, so yeah, no event. Until next time, as I get this raid all set up here, um, do the usual farewell speech, yada, yada, yada. Um, there it goes, it's getting set up here. So yeah, everybody, I hope you have a great week. Um, 
until I talk to you all the next time, I say to all of thee, uh, <laughs> uh, I will see you at the next one. And until then, be excellent to each other. See you all later. Ciao.